Welcome, guys. Hello. And congratulations. You made it through the first week. Yay, girls. However, don't get comfortable, because in this war, you must be ready for anything. Oh, shit. Only one of you will earn $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Right. Last week, it was up to all of you to come together as a team. But everyone knows an army is only as strong as its leader. What does that mean? Got me, man. Who better to lead you into battle than experienced veterans? Oh, shit. shit. Week after week, some of the fiercest male and female artists will return to coach each team. What? Oh my God. Who the f is it? I'm ecstatic that we get a coach. We need a sound person to help unite us. Who do you guys think it is? <laughs> Passing masters, man. I don't need a coach. I'm here to prove my ability as a tattoo artist, not as a student. This week, you'll be coached by two Ink Master heavy hitters. He won season three. <laughs> wow. And she won season eight. Seriously? Joey Hamilton. Nice. And Ryan Ashley. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Dave. You. I hate losing. I'm a very competitive person. I won my season. I never went to the bottom. So I want to keep that streak going. I'm excited. I'm nervous. But I'm definitely ready. I'm always ready. Coaches, you're here to lead your teams into victory. Your job is to save your entire team from elimination. If you're able to keep your team intact, you'll move on to compete in the Clash of the Coaches face-off at the finale for $25,000 of your own. Nice. Damn. <laughs> I was willing to come in and coach just as a good deed, but if you're putting money on the line, I'm definitely in. But there is something else that all of you should know. I'm scared. To defeat the enemy, you must know the enemy. So artists, you'll be coached by the opposite sex. Hey. It's gonna be good. Joey will coach the women's team, and Ryan will coach the men's team. This could not be better. The female energy that we're now going to have within our team is a voice of reason. And for some of us in this team, we definitely need that. Go ahead and join your teams. Joey is about to step into a group of nine strong, opinionated female artists. Good luck with that. <laughs> All right, guys, this week, we're testing shading. Perfect. Shading is when you use a gradient from dark to light, and it brings out dimension in pieces. For this flash challenge, you must create a masterpiece, beam by beam. Oh, whoa. That's a lot of work. Using nothing but 450 pounds of coffee beans roasted to different shades, each team must create a work of art on an 8-foot by 12-foot canvas. Good thing we had a lot of coffee today. How do you create smooth shading with beans? You know, the best part of waking up is not this flash challenge. Fail, and your fate will be in your opponent's hands. We got this. It's going to take every single member of your team to make sure you cover this canvas with a huge dynamic design. Needs to be legible, needs to be visible from a distance. Today, you guys have an advantage because you guys have coaches that have been here. They've won. They've taken it all the way to the finale and cashed the big check. They know what we're looking for. So listen to your coaches. Win this flash challenge, and your team will have the power to assign all the human canvases in the elimination tattoo, which your coaches will tell you is a massive advantage. Very true. You have six hours, and your time starts now. All right, ladies. First thing, we'll come up with a couple ideas on what to do. We have to show shading. It should be something simple. One of the crazy things about these flash challenges is they force people to think in a different way. We have to do something that's not only technically impressive, we have to do something that shows our creativity. What we're looking for is these people to be able to turn on their creativity switch and do something amazing. There's a lot of people, and doing this group shit is really difficult when there's yeah, so many definitely. creative minds. This is my two cents, is I would do landscape, where you'd have trees in the front, and yeah. you have a middle ground in the background, a lot of high contrast, maybe. I don't want to sound like nerdy, but I took a class in Dutch landscaping and the brocage. I know that's super specific and weird, but I think I can draw something. It's definitely nerve-wracking trying to coach these women. I've never met them. Do you want to put a second tree right here? Yeah, we can pull it off for sure, like the skinnier ones for back and then yeah. get bigger. We are dividing the tasks equally. Some people are drawn, some of the ladies are just smashing the shit out of those beans. Anybody want to do some recon real quick? What do you mean? Yeah, just go see what they're doing. Ash, you're good at that. Just go be cute. No, bitch. I just can't believe that my fate is in these women's hands. I have no clue how good they are. 
Man, I just hope they can step up. Okay, this is worth having a guy on our team. Thank oh, God we have a man here. <laughs> I think we should do a nice landscape with water. I say like a little beach type of thing. You boys are pretty indecisive. Can we do both? Can we do like a like a shoreline? They're all good ideas. We just have to decide on one. Oh my God. Obviously the men are having a problem with commitment. Just pick one and go with it. Okay, boys, here's what we're doing. A, B. Castle. I like the castle a lot. Castle. I like A. A. Castle, castle, castle. We're doing a castle. Okay. I'm not sure what this is, so you guys know. <laughs> hey, you guys, did you hear this idea? There's water, so we can make some of the beans into paint. Shouldn't the background be, like, smoothest? So turning the beans into paint for the background would create Put that Put the background in the sky, right? Yes. OK. But we've already got part of the sky on there. That's why we didn't want to rush use, the pudding. We can do it on the water. I'm just already feeling no, like our team is failing on working together. Well, we're trying to t attack the darkest parts right now, so it's not like it's we're running around their heads cut off. I'm pretty pissed. My team is not listening to me right now. Everyone is just gluing beans randomly. Yay, it looks like trees. I think they're a little too close together. Well, these are the trees up front, so you want them to be a little bit closer together? I just think it looks a little like this, that's all. But you guys got it. So negative. Dude, we are, we're kicking We're cruising. Ass. I'm gonna snap somebody's neck tonight. Nobody wants to listen to me. Four hours to go, guys. Four more hours. Crushing beans. Crushing beans. Crushing beans. Yeah, baby. You guys have to remember when you're doing it, make sure the tape is on, on the, the outside. outside. We're taking the time to measure this whole thing out, grid it correctly. That could be a risk. These girls are already going. We might not fish at all, and that could really f us over. We got to pick up the pace a little bit. It's grade school all over again. Huh? I see absolutely nobody like even trying to listen to me. Exactly. That shit all has to be crushed because none of these whole things are sticking. That's what I said for the past like 20 minutes. I am agreeing 100%. Thank you. One hour left. One hour remaining. All right, lift it up. Keep going towards you. Towards you, phone. Right there. Hey, that's cool. Is that what it does? Shit's going to fall off. Please don't fall. Try not to jiggle it too much. Oh, shit. Jesus. Look at all of our hard work on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. It's Dave. Good job, guys. Yeah. Killing it. I'm never drinking coffee again. All right, it is time to critique your work. Let's start with the men's team. I think it's a really smart move to do something with the force perspective. Showing depth and the shading really helps pull that together. Your darkest, richest tones are your strengths here. The foreground richness in comparison to your dead center horizon line where you have that richness of the mountainscape gives a nice boundary to the whole piece. Without that little trick they did with the white lines, their piece would be a lot less legible. I think it showed like quite a bit of planning that it took for us. And that shows a lot more skill to pull off than just some random shading. Oh, boys. All right, women's team, you're up next. Well, ladies, you also did a really great piece. You use the coffee beans in this painterly style, and you leave that little arc of light through the water. It gives you that sense of warmth and sunshine. You get a lot of different tones in the mountains to show which side is being hit by the sun. That's pretty cool. It's going to be a tough call today. What do you need no. this many crayons for? Welcome. Only five of you remain, but the fight to outlast your competitors is tougher than ever. Only one of you will earn $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Hell yeah. For this flash challenge, you will once again win or lose as a team. We know how to win. This week, we're testing precision. 
Precision is being very meticulous and exact with whatever you're working with. Today, you must create a masterpiece out of crayons. Real. Bring me a kid's menu, I'll show you exactly what to do with these crayons. In these tubs are over 200,000 crayons. That's a lot of crayons. That's an insane amount of crayons. You must precisely stack crayon upon crayon oh, no. to create dynamic shades and blends, bringing one cohesive image to life. Are you kidding me? We have to stack these crayons on end to create art? I mean, that's even worse than drawing with them. Precision is key, so you must work as a team and have a solid plan. If you're creating a pixelated image, one pixel at a time, that one little tip of the crayon, that's your pixel. Do not around because it takes a long time. A good idea and a good plan is gonna win. Win this challenge and your team will have the power to assign all of the human canvases in the elimination tattoo. Hell yeah. You have seven hours. Oh, okay. And your time starts now. Come on guys, let's do this. Don't eat the crayons. This last challenge we're testing precision and you have to place thousands upon thousands of crayons perfectly in line so that you have a very detailed design out of it. I'm concerned about getting into something that we're like, oh, this is way harder than we thought. You can use the front end of the crayon so it's a point, the back end of the crayon so it's flat. But one thing is for sure, if you're going to fill this entire board, you've got to get to work. Listen, because it's precision, I was thinking of actually, like, a hot air balloon race. I like that. I'm cool with it. The team is coming together really fast. It might be the quickest we ever agreed on a design. If you have like one over to the side over here, and you have your vantage point. Like you're in the basket looking at the edge, how the edge of the basket. Oh. And you're in it. Oh. I like that. We gotta keep this momentum going. I need to make sure I get all three of these guys to the finale. Hey, what are you guys doing? Why don't you mind your own business? Y'all doing a Tiffer Cat? A Clean Skull? A Tony Snake? I think you wish you could do any of those. <laughs> I was thinking going like textbook art school, throwing an object in the center, maybe like a big apple, and then maybe have a, a colored candlestick in the back. What don't you like? I wonder if we're gonna help create them. I am not pumped about Clean's design on this particular flash challenge, but there are way more crayons than there are team members. We just need to land on a design and get started. Let's do it. Yeah, I mean, I just wanna get started. I'm gonna show precision by trying to make every angle perfect. We're gonna make sure that every single crayon is where it needs to be exactly. What color do you want that to be? What? That tough, this, this top part. Let me just color it the best. We really don't need to color that right now. He's already doing it. Just draw the balloon. Okay. Uh, he's already coloring it. No, no, I heard color you. Study from I heard brown you. To yellow. You get your balloon. I get that he wants me to go, 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 but like, Pump your brakes a little bit, Christian. If y'all are gonna start damn putting these crayons down, we're gonna have hey, issues. If we don't draw the mother then we're wasting a lot of time. Oh, we're wasting time. We already got our design pretty much down, and we ain't even started. I think we just need to do this. We'll have all the conversation in the world on Ride Home. It just doesn't really look that three-dimensional on what you have started, because, like, you're missing this sidewall. Well, I didn't see the sidewall. Damn it, Tim. If you would hurry up with the damn drawing. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Someone switch me places and draw this Get your hands dirty. Tell him, TJ. Tim's the cleanest after every challenge. <laughs> Six hours left, guys. Six hours. Start hardlining everything. And then with what? Just use a pencil or a marker or whatever. Okay. Let's just get it going, dude. I know that it's been a long road for my guys. Let's start smashing them in there. No, I'm just hardlining like you asked. We just gotta get started. I don't even need to see Christians. I already know it's probably gonna be boring as all hell. We got this. Workhorses. The word of the day is precision, right? Yes. So yeah. The little things are probably gonna make a huge impact. Yes. The things are gonna look like the Mona Lisa mother. Come on, guys. Let's win this thing. Never gonna quit, bro. Three hours to go, everybody. Three hours to go. We're not even halfway. Trying to lay in the pattern of this balloon as we work is so time consuming. Yeah, we ain't gonna be able to do this little fades on this basket. That's not gonna happen. Literally just walk this in with color and I will go through and do the dark three tones. I can switch them out really fast. 
it's super easy once you get these crayons stacked on the board to pull them out and switch them out without any of it caving in. Just need someone pulling and someone putting them in. Oh, look at you, you smart little I've been in the bottom more than anybody here, so I need to make sure that I'm working twice as hard as TJ and Tim to prove I deserve to be here. I think whenever yeah. we get to the point of being done, we should pull all of these ones out like halfway. Yeah, if you can go and get in some shape, that'd be awesome. Amanda, I'm down with whatever you got going on. This is your final hour. Let's get these things done. We need to move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm simplifying this candle, too. Can you help pull them out? Yep. Yeah. OK. Don't be shy about it. Just pull them, and then we'll mold it. Got to get in there like it's an ingrown hair. What are you doing? Pull out some of the brown with some 3D, just because they have it, and I don't want us to be dinged for not having it. Yeah, it looks super dope. Keep pulling them, because the effect that it's pulling off is amazing. we got to get this rounded out, looks like. I'm gonna do it, Christian. I know. We're getting... It's all right. It's getting close. Christian, please stop. We're good. 10, 9, 8, so that's enough. 7, We're not gonna have time six, to mash it. Stop that. Stop. Five, please stop. 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. It is. Time is up. Challenge complete. That looks pretty cool. Good job. What a crazy challenge. <laughs> I think they did a cool idea, but you can't tell if it's a worm or a snake. And a worm chowing down. Welcome. Morning. Hello. Morning. The fight for one hundred thousand dollars. A feature in Inked Magazine and the title of Ink Master is more intense than ever. Sure is. And for this flash challenge, you will once again win or lose as a team. We know how to win. Yep. This week, we're testing creativity. Yeah, yeah. As an artist, creativity is your voice that allows you to speak to the world and lets you show them something that they've never seen before. Today, you must create an amazing design on a 10-foot by 24-foot canvas using only electrical tape. Oh, my God. I'm not an electrician. I don't know how to use this stuff. You must push the levels of your creativity to show us something that we have never seen before. <laughs> I've never seen anything made out of electrical tape anyway. We could put down anything on this canvas and it's something you've never seen before. If we wanted you to do a small design, we would have given you a small canvas. You got a lot of people on each team, a lot of hands, a lot of tape, no excuses. You guys are evened up. Today is like the first day all over again. Anybody can win, and somebody will go home at the end of this week. Win this challenge, and your team will have the power to assign all the human canvases in the elimination tattoo. We need that. You have six hours, and your time starts now. All right. We need to get our game plan down. Everybody put out their ideas and figure out which one's going to be the most creative. In this challenge, it's all about creativity because I'm pretty sure that you don't buy electrical tape at the art supply store. One thing we could do for creativity is how we use the tape. There's nothing wrong with being creative, but simple works. So far, each team has won one flash challenge. They understand how important it is to get these advantages. So now we're really seeing the competition heat up a woman laying, kind of like a silhouette. Human figure scares me. Yeah, yeah especially with tape, too. dude. We don't have skin tones. I think we should get crazy with this, so that's creative. Keep in mind, we're working with tape. That's it. Good thing we're using tape here, because this team is falling apart. We need a solid, concrete idea so we can start drawing. We need to put up or shut up and figure out what we can do to work together as a team and really come out on top of this one. We need it. What do you got over here? We were thinking like a greeting card from a state. OK. This is our problem. We have too many ideas. Well, let's stop making it our problem. Let's figure well, it out. Well, is. Nobody wants to listen. There's great attitudes for this one, I see. We're working some stuff out here. Let's go out of the box. I think it would be cool to do like a body, have the head be a light bulb, and then instead of an arm, do a little extension cord with the socket and the heart. I think that's cool. You're going to have to explain that. Just keep it simple. Chris, I hope you are in this win or lose. All I'm saying is, I don't want to have right, to explain this. That's the only thing I want. Let's do it. Who's drawing it? 
I'm drawing. There's something about Angel and Amanda that reminds me of two of my daughters. I love that these two little chicks are standing up to some of the biggest guys in the room. Listen, bro, I respect you, okay? But I don't need this negative bullshit. If you hate it that much, go sit the out. I'm waiting. You're, you're yeah, making it really I... clear that you're not happy about the whole thing. I'm a grown man. There's like... I'm not gonna do this. What do you want me to do? Step back then and leave everybody alone rather than bring a negative energy. All right, Christian. What is it that I can help with? Can you help me put the gray on here? Just yes, I literally can. go from here to here, all the way up. Jesus Christ. Five hours, guys. Five more hours. Do we all agree that we should frame this out in a postcard? All in favor? Okay, let's see. Hey, well, I'm going to get rolling. Jesus. Let's start mapping this motherfucker out. The clock is ticking. I don't give a what anyone has to say. I'm going to start putting ideas and wheels in motion. Once you pull it like this, just let it sit for a second and it'll shrink back and then stick it. You got it. Don't let them know that. All that's peeling up. Why is it pulling up like that? You kidding me? Three hours remaining, guys. Three more hours. Bulletproof, guys. Gotta be bulletproof. When you do that all the way, it's gonna make like this cool layered starburst effect. That actually looks really cool with a light bulb like that since I've gotten here, I've been fighting, but I'm finally getting settled in here. I'm feeling real confident right now. Keep going. If that's the only thing you get done today, you're a hero. All I've been asking this whole time is put a little bit of trust in me, so I have to nail this. Nice job, JP. Stay back up there, come on. I think we should definitely pull the water out and then put a big red X. I actually do have good ideas other than just, let's stick tape to a board and hope it works. Does this look weird if I were to I'm gonna take something like this to get more 3 d effect. Oh, yeah, do it, do it. Start making hundreds of those. I'll do some green, some black. Stacy, that's a rad idea. Oh my God, they're giving Stacy props, they gotta be doing something good. Mm -hmm. Best ideas come from the heart. Mm -hmm. There you go. I never in a million years imagined that a piece of my art would be executed to this magnitude. You're genius kid. No one has really seen my creativity. If we pull it off, it's gonna be one of the proudest moments of my life. If we fail, it could all be my fault because it was my idea. I like where it's going. I just don't want it to be too busy. 30 minutes remaining. Come on, guys. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. It's starting to get super bubbly over there. What? Whoever did this over here sucks. I'm a dad myself, man, so I get this whole brotherly rivalry thing. But God damn it, get your together. Who did this? God. Five minutes, guys. Five more minutes. Fly, fly, fly. Don't be delicate. Yes. This is a great idea. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. No more taping. Woo! Hell are you guys? Man, oh man. Kyle. Yeah. Oh, that was another <laughs> tough one. I love you, dude. Yeah, we killed that. <laughs> hey, whatever happens, we work together as a team. For once. What the hell? Are we going fishing? Welcome. 11 artists remain. Four in the West, three in the Midwest, three in the East, and only one artist in the South. The teams are definitely getting smaller, but 10 artists still stand in your way of $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Gotta get rid of some people. And this week, we're testing artistry. Nice. Hell yeah. Artistry is what I live by. It's tattooed on my jaw. Artistry is what makes you a unique person. And if you don't have artistry, you're most likely going to work at a used video store. Today, you must create an incredible work of art that is literally suspended in thin air. What the f All this will be fun. Using nothing but hundreds of thousands of multicolored buttons and transparent fishing line, you must strategically string button after button to bring a mind-bending suspended masterpiece to life. Oh, gosh, no. This shit just keeps getting crazier. Yeah. I can't 
can't even sew a button on a shirt. We're literally sculpting on a million different pieces of string with thousands upon thousands of buttons. Does that not sound insane to anyone else? A single button out of place can destroy the entire effect. Buttons, bro. I'm stressed out, man. There is one more thing you should know. Of course. There's always one more thing. In times of war, sometimes you must cross enemy lines. What the hell? For this flash challenge, your team will battle alongside another region, and together, you will win or lose the advantage. So much for being just a team. I just like our core four. I was looking at these buttons thinking, there's no way that I'm going to be able to pull this shit off, so I'll take some extra hands, because it's just me. To determine which regions work together, you'll draw skulls. On the bottom of one of the skulls is an X. Get the X, and you will get to pick which region you want to work with for this flash challenge. Better get that okay. damn X. The picking order has been randomly assigned. Midwest, you get to draw for the X first. Come on, Big Daddy. Get that X. One down. East, you're next. Man. No X. You had one job. West. All right, obviously the X goes to the south. Jason, come on up, do the honors. It all depends on Jason Elliott. What region would you like to team up with? I could pick west. It evens the amount of people facing off against each other. My other choice would be to pick one of the other teams and sabotage their project. But that guarantees that there's no way that I have skull pick. I'm going to go with west. All right, boy. In the west it is. All right, south and west. You will be working together as one team, and that means Midwest and East, you'll form the second team. It's gonna be dope, all right. The winners of this Flash Challenge will have the power to assign all of the human canvases in the elimination tattoo yep. together. We better win. You have seven hours, and your time starts now. This week, we're testing artistry, and for this Flash Challenge, just to get a concept and a strategy, is gonna be the hardest part about this design. So I was thinking like a volcano, like a smoke ring, because you could suspend that with the lava. I also thought of jellyfish. I do like the idea of a jellyfish. This one is so organic that it's gonna be kind of harder to mess up. I love this idea. I'm gonna color organize the buttons. All right, cool. While that happens, I want somebody, if we can, just to put a couple on there and see how it goes. Okay. Jarrell's usually really efficient with that stuff. Tougher challenges like this really push people to the limit. Let's see here. I want to go around and hear everyone's. What are you thinking? I was thinking about jellyfish. Jellyfish, Would jellyfish is cool. be recognizable, though, as a jellyfish? You could have a jack in a box. I like the fact that they're boxes, and I got an idea for that in a second. Jiro? I haven't heard half your guys' ideas. Cool. What are yours? I was thinking about a hand, like a 3D printer, like going like this. Not a hand. Yeah, so. We get an artistry challenge, and my opinion doesn't matter to you. I have artistry tattooed right across my jaw for a reason. Come on. I work fast, so just, just lay it out so we can do it. Get everything else out of the way. You have to work up and then down, out, and then make the shape. We need to know the grid so we can figure out the grid, and then we can slide and remove things at will. I mean, it's one of those things just gotta, we have to freehand. I think Jason's right. This has to be more like eyeballed and freehand. Exactly. I don't trust Jason by any means. Any opportunity he has, he might f us over. They are literally making a grid. But do they have any buttons on yet? No. Nope. Nothing. I think that they're going to greatly underestimate how long it's going to take to put any kind of buttons on. We've got four feet. That's 48 of these f If we were to use 10 of them for the circumference of the thing, that's almost a foot. Well, let's, let's call it 18, because that's relatively divisible in the same terms. Where did you get this mathematician from? That's a genius. I have a state medal in the mathematics competition. You would? It's dumb. I wouldn't say that's dumb. I think it's impressive. If you want to talk about dumb things, I'm your guy. Five hours to go, everybody. Five more hours. OK, wait. What's going on here? I'm putting on a few. Uh, don't do that yet. What do you? We don't. Do we? I don't think we have our nine yet. Wait, we, we, yeah. Just do your thing. Let's be mathematical about this shit and take our time. Let's do that. Something seems up with Jarrell. He's showing signs of not being on the same page as the rest of the Alliance. We need to stick together. I feel irritated. I feel like I read this in my 
stupid. This challenge is very mentally taxing, and I'm trying to help the team and make sure that they all feel good. I don't think we've talked about it yet, but I also have anxiety sometimes. So I'm going to take a step back for one second. This tentacle is like almost not making any sense. They're all up. It's all tangling up together. I guarantee this is a huge knot now. We get to the point that we don't even know what we're doing. Oh my god. The more we try to rush through it, the less it gets. I can't imagine that this is the way that the Midwest usually works with each other. Jarrell's ready to flip tables. I mean, this is insane. How we doing? Just trying to like tie it and hold, you know? Okay. Daddy Sanaz is gonna have to get in there and get some shit done. Mmm, buttons. <laughs> okay. Here comes something. Wait, is Squishy back? I like buttons. <laughs> what kind of things do you like to button? No, not that again. Oh my God. Listen to me, Jarrell. <laughs> you gotta cut the shit, cut bro. The shit. Daddy's got the sauce. This is your final hour, guys. Final hour. How many idiots does it take to make a yellow ball? Mm-hmm. We already have more art than they do. Remember, the East have never won a flash challenge. Let's not make it today that they do. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. This challenge is over. Well, I had to work with Team West today, but... You hate us less than you hate them. I definitely hate you guys yeah. less than I hate yeah. those guys, yeah. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah. Welcome. Morning. 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 Only seven of you remain, four on Team Christian and three on Team Clean. <laughs> You must continue to push yourself to the limit, because the closer you inch to the finale, the tougher your fight becomes. Only one of you will earn $100,000, a feature in Ink Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Yeah. All right. All right. And this week, we are testing detail. You have to have detail in art. I mean, without it, it's really hard for our eyes to comprehend what it is that we're looking at. Whether things are weathered or new or polished or dull and all kinds of different things. I love details. I'm the detail guy. For this flash challenge, you must burn a design into a four foot by six foot wood slab. What? How do you even do that? With like a lighter or something? Working in your teams, you will need to meticulously burn every tiny detail of your image creating various shades and contrast to bring a dynamic work of art to life. Be as creative as you can. Obviously, if we're looking for details with a piece of wood that big and tools that are that refined, you're going to have to really decide what's going to make this piece stand out. The time for playing it safe in this competition is completely over. Win this challenge, and your team will have the power to assign all the human canvases in the elimination tattoo. We need that. You have six hours. And your time starts now. All right, let's go. This week, we're testing detail. A lot of these wood burning tools are very small and do very little markings to the wood at a time, so it's going to be very tedious. No matter what, it's going to be a big undertaking. We're painting with uh, toothpicks today. For showing detail, this is a great challenge, but completing this huge chunk of wood with your team out in the sun with these hot tools, pain in the ass. I have an idea. I think you can do like the man of the woods. It's just a bunch of leaves and the way it is, you just gotta make his face gnarly looking. We have to detail the out of the face and make that a priority. Yeah. What do you think they're gonna do? Who cares? At this point, we need to just outthink them and just do something that's awesome. We can make some sort of disfigured like monster baby thing or whatever. I'm feeling it. Make it look like a carnival poster. <laughs> the name of this challenge is Detail, and we're gonna make sure the judges get plenty of it. They haven't seen Monster Boy live. Yeah. So it explains everything. We got a goat leg, a diaper, a crab claw. This baby's insane. Binky chain. The binky chain, dude. The binky chain. Dude, <laughs> killing it, bro. Killing it. Creativity. That nose is too feminine. Water. Yeah. The eyes are off. All right, give me two minutes. Yeah. Just let me drop. Yeah. Step back. Let me finish the piece before you change the entire design. Let's see. What do you think, guys? That's too big. 
face is too big. We gonna redo it? And turn him into a tiki. Go a little Polynesian with it. Put like a nice little Polynesian design coming off of his cheeks, maybe up like the top of his forehead. My biggest concern is a tiki face actually gonna show enough detail to meet the challenge. Are we already in not discussing mode? Help. We have to change the whole shape of the face. I was just asking if we agree before we start That's doing it. Five hours left, guys. Five more hours. This sucks. Hey, man, you know what sucks? They got one less person. They're way ahead of us. Are they? By far. Yeah, he's not happy right now. Because he's looking at how slow this is going, and he's already defeated. To detail it out the way it is, it's going to take a long time. Look at all the line work that has to be done, and look how much background we got. It's time consuming, yeah, but. I want to just torch this bitch. Two more hours, guys, two more hours. You want a detail challenge? A detail challenge. We may be one man down in this competition right now, but one thing that we've got that Team Christian doesn't is we have a Turk. <laughs> this armpit hair right here. Thank you, Turk, for being Turk. <laughs> You're welcome. We have been constantly trying to reel Turk in, but today's the day that we take the leash off and let him run wild with the details. It is game over for Team Christian. Old Tweaker Turk <laughs> detailing it out. Tweaker Turk. This is your final hour. One hour remains on the clock. Uh, I think this is kind of a crazy rate to tackle it. Got five people doing black and it ain't moving too fast. At the end, if we have to set it up right, torch the background, we can. Or do you want to do that now? Well, you guys figured out this time, but. The biggest challenge I'm dealing with right now is listening to Christian's mouth and his win. God, win. I really want to do this torch, but the wind is saying, no, oh, we ain't going for consistency today. That's two things that just needs to stop. You seem defeated, man, for real. Yeah. I don't want to sit and argue all the, all the time on these class challenges. Christian, ain't nobody mad. I'm not mad either. Dude, they're doing lettering. We got this, as long as we can pull it off and get it done, because it is looking cool. Funny thing is, because it's a freaking tiki mask, it actually suits the wood probably even more than the leaf man. Exactly. OK, I'm officially over my bitchy moment. You all right? Welcome back. Ten, nine, eight. Get it, son. Might be a tight one today. We'll see. Tiki God always wins. Three, two, one. That's it. Boom. Time is up. This challenge is complete. Busted your ass. Bring it in. It's cool, man. There's more detail in our lettering than their whole piece. We've got hair, we've got, we've got claw, we've got wing, we've got tentacles, we've got lettering. We got binky nipple chains, man. <laughs> Boom! All their details in their chain. And there's just a ton of it that's blank space, too. They can do postcards and flyers all they want. They're not doing art. To make it through this competition, you must be ready for anything. Only one of you will earn $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Ooh, yes. Today, you will win as a team or lose as a All team. Right. We got this. We got it. This week, we're testing ingenuity. Ingenuity is just taking the limited resources that you're given and finding ways to improvise, adapt, and overcome to make a beautiful piece of art. For this flash challenge, you must create a masterpiece using only dominoes. Oh, oh that's not the <laughs> Each team will have approximately 100,000 multicolored dominoes. Damn. That's a lot. If you're gonna bring me 100,000 dominoes, can it be pizza and have some toppings on there, like some pineapple, some bacon, some something? You must position each domino strategically to create an image. It will take ingenuity to set off a chain reaction that will transform these dominoes into a work of art. Oh my god. We're gonna look at it two ways. We're gonna look at them upright. Then we're gonna look at them falling. That collective look will be how we score. Coaches, you alone will have a bird's eye view of the design as it takes shape. No pressure there. Make sure you have a solid plan. 
or the dominoes won't be the only thing that falls flat. Damn. Win this challenge and your team will have the power to assign all of the human canvases in the elimination tattoo. Yeah, you get this, you guys. You have six hours and your time starts now. Let's go. Huddle up, huddle up. This week we're testing ingenuity. This is a crazy challenge because it's a lot of tedious work to get these blocks to stand up and not knock them down in the process of building a large scale piece of work. What's your idea? A tiger? Maybe Come like reeds or something too? Yeah, like around the tiger head. Start gritting it out so that it's perfect. The team that can really work together and be smart and stay cool and collected, it's gonna come out on top. I'm just starting to draw a tiger head from like the side view so we don't have to go symmetrical. That's what I was thinking. My idea was like a tiger. Maybe you can do like some like leaves that it's framed down in. The key is ingenuity. Clean just won the last two in a row. Look at here. Get out of Easiest here. Easiest thing ever. Come on. Hey, this come on. Piece of cake. Let's go. Piece of cake. Let's, let's go. Let's take you back home. No, no, no. Come on. Why don't you go coach your team a little bit? He's strutting around like he's cock of the walk. I cannot let him have a three-peat. It's almost yeah, like yeah. it's stalking. Or, yeah. You know. Yeah. Get nice. the <laughs> in here. Go draw some more chickens. He's just making sure we're not doing an old man sitting in a wheelchair or something. Yeah. I'm doing a tiger too. I say we go head to head. Yeah. Let's just do it. What do they got? They're doing a tiger too. What? They're doing a tiger. Are they really? I'm gonna start sketching something else just to be safe. Christian being the snake he is, you know, every time I look over, I just see these little tribal tattoos just poking over someone's shoulder, just staring at our drawing. And then sure enough, they're doing a tiger now. We have good ideas, they steal them. What if we did a cobra, bro? If they're going with symmetry, like we go with flow. That is going to be rad. All right. All right, JP, let's get this drawing done. A lot's on the line right now. We're down a guy, and all the other artists are looking at me like I'm a weak link. Awesome. Hurry, hurry, get it done. No stopping. I need to prove myself. I need to show people that I am an asset to this team. That looks good. My gosh, we are slow at this OK, they're getting theirs on the floor pretty quick. Hey, Jimmy, bring it in a little more so we got a little more black in there. No! God damn it. We got three up and they're already down. Five hours, guys. Five more hours. Let's double up those lines and make sure they don't go anywhere. That looks good from up here. Let's get it on there, guys. Ah! God, this is impossible. Austin getting to the finale is impossible. This is just difficult. No, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. Ah! It's too fast. It's too fast. Oh, my God. Personally, I think we should have the leaves laying down and then have the dominoes only be the snake. Stop trying to take the easy route. Yeah, this is hard. If we don't win this flash challenge, they're going to us just as hard as we them. Damn you, gravity. I almost just cried. It's so crushing, but we're focused on being a team right now because we need a team to get through this. No big deal. It's OK. We're actually making progress. We can do this. Kyle, remember, we still have to I know, stack. dude. I well, know. those aren't Well, stacked. I'm not done yet. Well, that's not going to work, dickhead. I'm not done get yet. All I'm mad I'm about it. Is it going to help? Hey, guys, guys, guys. Jesus Christ. Dude. Guys, we're figuring it out. At home, when Kyle's getting stressed out and blowing up like that, I stay out of it. But here, we have to work together as a team. You already knocked your over three times. I'm trying a different method. All right, dog. Slow and steady. As long as you're really fast at being slow and steady. <laughs> Two hours left, people. As of right now, it looks like nothing. My team is falling apart. We are a hot mess right now. They're pushing forward. Everything they got is standing up. I got to pull something out of my ass, because as soon as Team Christian smells blood, they're going to attack. You can't show weakness. What do you want to do? You want to sit here and try and stack them, or you want to just lay them flat? I mean, flat's the only way to go right now. Are you sure? Because that's a lot of time we just wasted. Stop! Oh, mother! Lay them flat. flat. That's it. I'm over it. Lay them flat. Dude, they literally just gave up. Team Queen and his merry band of quitters. We ain't giving up. I'll go down the last second. One hour left, guys. This is it. One more hour. 
Oh my God, my hand. Hey, the orange, clean those up a little bit. There you go, there you go. Oh, watch your feet, Chris. I am. You're so close, dude. I know. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it, your time is up. I'm super proud of you guys, man. I'm honestly I'm proud, proud of this whole team. We made something. Welcome. The pressure of this competition is higher than ever. Make it to the end, and you will earn $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. And for this flash challenge, your success is dependent on each other. Coaches, you must once again work side by side with your teams. This week, we're testing composition. Composition is creating balance. It's creating flow and a focal point to draw your eye throughout the picture. Today, you must create an amazing design out of an unruly medium. Melted wax. It's crazy. <laughs> First, using tape, you will stencil a design onto a four foot by seven foot canvas. Then, you will strategically spread colored granulated wax on your canvas. Using butane torches and heat guns, you will melt the wax to create flowing fields of color. When the tape is removed, an impressive work of art will be revealed in the negative space. Negative space means that's the space you're not even touching, but it has to be part of the art piece, which means it has to flow, it has to balance, it has to show depth. It's just as important as the pieces you touch. Win this challenge and your team will have the power to assign all of the human canvases in the elimination tattoo. You have six hours, and your time starts now. Let's go. Melting wax, finding a composition and a know-how of how to work with the wax is going to be tricky. What I have in mind is birch trees, and I'd like to incorporate three black wolves. When I think of candle wax, too, I always, you can always <laughs> carve into it. You can carve the trunk arc into it. I like the idea. It's going to sound like a lot, but we can do it because we're all working together. Being a difficult medium, if everybody's not on the same page, we could see a disaster. When you're thinking about a tattoo and you're thinking about putting it on a body, but with this, think of it more as fine art. DJ and Josh are amazing tattooers, but composition is taught in fine art schools, which I've been to. Like, what do you think in more fine art? So maybe like a, a woman's face, like spitting out butterflies or something. Let's do that. We've shot ourselves in the foot for going too crazy. This is the one time I'm trying to tone us down. I can draw a girl's face well. If you can draw it, I will be a laborer on this one. All right, let's do it. I'm quarterbagging this game. You want this straight up? We'll yeah. turn it vertical and she wants to draw on here. This is finally a challenge where my teammates can actually rely on me. What do you want to do? I think do a nice iconic fold image. The flag would be perfect, dude. White stripes, the white stars. Silhouette, skyline with a space of negative around it. But I mean, do you want to go that simple? It's safe and we can make it look clean. It's the safe, bro. Can we beat the other teams, man? We're going for the win. I know. It's down at two, so if we lose a skull pick, it's a done deal. Steve, dude. Take your own advice, rein yourself in. You've been telling me that I gotta go simple this whole competition. Now I'm finally doing it and you're going crazy with ideas. Simple is smart on this one. Whatever you guys wanna do. I think it'll be cool, you know what I mean? Whatever, like it. Well, let's go, let's do it. Pain in the ass, huh? Oh, 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 do you know where the line of the tree is? Really? So with having an extra player on our team, we decided to go with a more complicated design, but this medium is a pain in the ass to work with. Blending all those colors and everything is tricky. Sorry, Jay, I got some blue in here. Oh, no. And controlling how much heat gets to it and how far it spreads is an insane nightmare. No way that's coming off. <laughs> Dude, we should have done it when it was a little bit warmer. You have three hours to go. The tear ducts have to be even. That looks pretty damn close. Dude, that texture is so Dude. sick. <laughs> the thing that I've been learning is that DJ's a coach for a reason. What? <laughs> I know. 
To show great composition, you need more than one element. So we're gonna scatter these butterflies throughout the piece to evenly compose it. I wanna get like an oh from the judges. We're a man down from last week, but it's not holding us up. Josh is pretty much good at everything. Deanna's got some weak points, but she's worked her way out of them. I might have two advantages in this finale. Sario's so ambitious, guys. Why is it 3,000 black buildings? <laughs> Hold on, stop. I kind of thought we'd just blacken the top and let it rest drip down. There's only seven people left, and only three make it to the finale. It's crucial to get these advantages. Yeah, once we drip it, it'll be way cooler. I'm not going to just back down or lay down. And if you want me off, it's going to be a fight. That's pretty dope, dude. I really had my doubts in the beginning. You're laughing at our piece. Well, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't feeling it. Down, 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 down. Hey, we gotta hurry. We gotta hang this hey, up. Hey, Torch, hurry, hurry. We did three wolves in the beginning and letting the wax dry. But now we're peeling off the tape, chunks are just flying off. I mean, it's ruining our whole design. How much time? We're like none. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Hey, ours looks by far the raddest. And theirs is just so boring. The shading in the flag kind of looks like clouds. I think it's cool, man. All right, time to critique your work. Team DJ, you're up. Your use of butterflies in the foreground was really a smart play because you have so much depth in the background that your negative space is a really neat effect. It would have been a lot stronger if you left the butterflies completely stark. Yeah, we debated that. The color blends and fades that you get here between the red and the brown, and having the different color fields all playing into each other really do cater to a painterly style. You guys do something that's definitely artistic. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Yo, I thought Team DJ had this in the bag until they added these butterflies and these weird boogers all over the face. You guys killed it today. Next up is Team Steve. It's a very simplistic take, but yet has a nice balance to it. Looking for composition in this piece, you have the silhouette of the cityscape at the bottom, and then the flag in the background with a lot of negative space, and you do get a lot of tones. You do get it to look like a runny painting. It's a very bold, strong move. You feel an immediate response, a knee jerk. It does spark emotion and does register a feeling with people. Thank you. Thank you. I am super proud of my team, and especially Jeremy. I mean, me and Rolly were kind of lost, and Jeremy pulled us through. I think we got a winner. Team Anthony. I really like the texture you got in the trees. I mean, it's a really realistic look. As far as composition goes, it's pretty plain. Just a ton of trees, equidistant almost all the way across the background. There's so many vertical lines up and down. I can't help but just read a barcode. Are they looking at the same I'm looking at? I mean, you have foreground, middle ground, background, and you can see it all, and made out of wax? I mean, come on, give us a break. Welcome, guys. 10 competitors still stand in your way of earning $100,000, a feature in Ink Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. To win, you must push the limits each week and fight for every possible advantage. And for this flash challenge, coaches, you will once again work side by side with your teams. Hell yeah. Every week, Anthony's getting stronger and stronger as a coach. While Steve and DJ are collapsing, we have five players. If that doesn't make Anthony stronger than the other coaches, then I don't know what does. This week, we're testing Dimension. Dimension is using shading and light sources to help give your flat image a little depth. Today, you must create a dimensional masterpiece one layer at a time. One layer at a time, what are we doing, baking a cake? Using 10 four by four foot panes of plexiglass, you must paint each layer to create a cohesive dimensional piece of art. Man, that is so much surface area to cover and create something with that kind of depth. How the hell are we ever gonna pull this off? Teamwork is essential as every single panel must work together to form one amazing image. Okay. Wow. Make a dimensional painting. Some items in your painting will be farther back and some will be further up. You'll be able to put different layers and different stuff in the middle. You will be able to create all kinds of different effects depending on how you paint and how you layer. Nice. Now, as you know, the teams are currently uneven. Team Anthony, 
you have two more artists than any other team. That means you must pick two artists from your team to not participate oh. in this challenge. Oh, Oh, right now. Right now. <clears throat> this sucks. All of my artists have amazing qualities. That's what makes us a very dynamic, very well-rounded team. I'm gonna choose Daniel and Amanda. <laughs> what the hell, Anthony? I know that Daniel's always off and not doing anything in these challenges, but I'm literally always there making sure everybody gets everything done. All right, so Daniel and Amanda, you will not participate in this challenge. We've gotten to the midway point of this competition where now you're gonna to start to really lose meaningful players, competitors, friends, paint for the advantage. Win this challenge and your team will have the power to assign all of the human canvases in the elimination tattoo. You have six hours and your time starts now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Today I wanna to see these artists take me on a dimensional ride. I want my eye to drift through the piece all the way to the farthest depth so that I feel this sense of dimension. If it falls flat, it's a complete loss. What was your idea, Josh? Mine is creating like a little kid looking out of the window. Could be the foreground and the background. Volcano, then you get some foliage, some big heads of dinosaurs. Looks like a little kid just seeing out into that world. It's kinda red. That'd be cool. We're all missing our girlfriends, wives, whatever. It can be like like a like a man and a, and a girl divided by a river. Outside. They're reaching to each other of some oh, sort, you know. That's cool. Man, it really hits you hard how much you miss home. I mean, this competition's one thing, but sometimes you lose focus and you start worrying about where you should be. And I thought battle scene. At the front, you just have a head on a pike. Yes. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Flags, crows in the background, maybe the Grim Reaper on a hill or something. Let's do something cool. So I just want to get my team's momento going, get their morale back up. You guys decide what goes in the layers. You can do that steamy smoke that always comes yes. off a battle scene. Yep. No, those got to be totally different colors because they're two totally different types of leaves. All right. We need to win this flash challenge. Let that tail of your brush just taper off at the end. Everyone's attacking me from every angle, and I've just got to keep my head on straight and not let them win. I learn so much from Josh Payne every day. One. I should have told you down here, it doesn't have to be so solid, because I could have some of the light breaking through to show the ripples. Going from dark to light, it's the wrong direction. It's not just gonna be flat. I'm gonna make it interesting. I've been doing it for 15 years by myself. Growing my name, growing my brand, uh, growing my art, working as a team. It's like going back to elementary school. All right, guys, two hours left. That one looks good, and then I'll just try to line up that one, that one out. A little bit of like light coming from the mountains behind it would be really cool. You need that pop of yellow to contrast all the purple and yeah. cool tones. Just kind of show like a little little bit of a sun with just like yeah. soft like dissipating uh -huh. ray. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so glad I've been drawing since I was two and I've been going to art schools because it really comes in handy right now. DJ, you can make it a little bit more drastic. Yeah, don't be afraid. Yeah, that's great. I'm a very strong artist and I'm tired of being too quiet. Josh, a little bit higher than that would be perfect. I'm ready to speak up for myself and show my team that I do have stuff to offer. A little bit down, yeah, in that area. A little pink right over there. Try that. I just want to see what this looks like real quick. Just see what it looks like. See what it looks like. It's a cloud color right there, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. We just covered up everything we just did. We were trying to do, we might do mist. He's doing the fog, which just covered up everything. I think this is going to be good, guys. Luckily, I have two small children. I've learned patience. Ah, you know what? That looks pretty dope. Yeah, there you go, Jeremy. Do it just like that. Streak it in. Nice, nice. There you go. Breakthrough. Steve likes something I did. Whoa. Finally starting to gain some respect with my team. You guys laugh at me, and then you see it, and you like it. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. You guys did great, man. That yeah. just made it, man. It's dope. It looks like a terrarium or something. Right. It looks killer, bro. Yeah. Dude, that's insane. Is that me? 
Is that us? That's your home. You're getting... That's us walking away. <laughs> That's us at home while everyone's working hard. All right, guys, it is now time to critique your work. Team Anthony. The painting quality on this is beautiful. The really, really strong color hits on the underside of the clouds that then fade nicely into the richness of the slate blue gray sky. You hit that just right. Where I have a problem is where that river goes to the bridge. The point where the river disappears is higher than the background where the tree goes. It really looks like that water is going up. That was the miscalculation on my part. Other than that, it's just beautiful. Thank you, man. Good job. Team Steve. The dimension that you get and the horizon line of the trail of blood midway through and then that big cliff with a reaper on it in the clouds, it shows a lot of depth, it shows a lot of height. There's a lot of motion to it and really get the feeling that that mist is moving. This thing came out pretty cool. We hit all those as well too, so I think it'll work out really well for us. Team DJ. We wanted to create a scene that when you walked up on it, just like you're looking out your window, you can move your head and look around and look under branches and see dinosaurs and around corners. You guys painted this thing incredibly skillfully. Your first panels, I can see them in HD. Beyond that, I can't clearly define what there is. That was like a big part of our dimension. It was kind of like HD, 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 and then it, it floats back to nothing like you would actually see in nature. The whole background is on one panel. Whereas you look at someone like Steve, who did it on several multiple panels, there was more dimension. And I think that's the one area on this that you may have missed it. I have no idea what's going on. It's super hard to read. This piece just looks to me like my daughter stuck a whole bunch of stickers all over her window. Welcome. For the first time ever, you are being coached by artists who have fought through this competition and come out on top. Only one of you will join their elite rank, earning $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Yeah! Nice. For your first flash challenge, you will win as a team or lose as a team. So you must work together. Of course, always family. This week, we're testing fundamentals. Fundamentals are the basic elements that an artist needs to have down. It's strong line work, bold color, and smooth black and gray. If you don't have those, you shouldn't be tattooing. Today, you must create a massive image using only colored water. That's crazy. Is it too late to leave? We're getting struck by lightning for sure. We got this, though. We got this, guys. Got this. Each team will have approximately 10,000 cups. Using only food coloring and water to create different shades and blends, you need to fill and arrange the cups to bring a single enormous image to life. The last time I put cups together, I was playing beer pong. I don't think that's gonna help this competition at all. But a team is only as strong as its leader. Coaches, you must lead your teams every step of the way because you alone will have a bird's eye view of the design as it takes shape. Every mistake is on your shoulders. So it's up to you to coach your team in the right direction. I'm scared of heights. There's a lift. This is horrible. It's all on me, because if it looks like and I had the perfect view of it, I led them to make something that looks like I'm not sure if the other coaches have the experience I have in leading a team, but we're going to find out with 10,000 cups very quickly. Fail to communicate, and your team's image will be an unreadable mess. Every member of the team needs to hustle, get a game plan, and go big. You don't have to do tattoo designs. You can make great art. Today looks like it might be pretty rough. No time to complain. You're here. This is what you signed up for. No slacking. Win this challenge, and your team will have the power to assign all of the human canvases in the elimination tattoo. Control of the game can make or break you, so every advantage is essential. You will have five hours, and your time starts now. Let's go. Let's go. All right, my man, let's see if there's surrender. All right, where's paper? This is the first time we're seeing these teams work together. Need the biggest guys filling buckets because them things get heavy, dude. We're going to see if these coaches have the faith and trust of their teammates. You're going to get wet. Don't think about your clothes, your shoes, your nothing. Let's make art. This challenge is testing fundamentals. They need to make a clear, strong, legible image. We're going to run these buckets right here. Start over there. The team that follows the leader the best is going to be the most efficient. I think dynamic, but we've still got to keep it fundamental. An eye, we yeah. can make it look realistic from far it. away. And just one big ass eye. Yeah, what, are we, what, are, what are we going to show? That's too simple. The iris is going to be the only thing. Oh, they're already putting out cups. 
pull that tape measure straight. Then we're gonna line the cups up with that tape measure. Hey, are we up too far? No, we're good. It don't matter how far we're up. Yeah, but don't forget, you're gonna be looking, you're gonna be looking on the angle. Right. Okay. Garrett. Yeah. Focus on keeping it tight so we can see the layout, all right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. As a team, we're deciding to create a beetle. I draw beetles all the time. I'm obsessed with insects. Well, we're gonna do the Sheldon Green. Someone has to take charge. Having a lot of siblings, I've kind of learned how to be a good mediator. Let's go, Gary. Let's go, Jeremy. Let's go, fill them up, bro. Come on, guys, let's go around. Let's do this. Focus on laying cups down. Don't worry about the green. You just stand there, standing there. Come on, help out. Bro, everybody slow down for a second. We're gonna be doing that marble bust, right? Blacks and grays. We have a well-orchestrated system. We've got Matt under the table doing the drawing. Deanna's got buckets of tones and blends all pulled out. Me and little D are taking the responsibility of gridding out this entire area. Get all these numbers in there first. Let's make the grid, and then we'll start looking at it. All right. Frank's over there apparently knows numbers better than anybody. 64 cups per square per quadrant, basically. I don't see this going wrong. Four hours remaining. Lift me to the heavens. You hit your growth spurt. You're at adult height now. Can we get a poncho with a pattern on it for Steve? Maybe a dragon poncho or something? Hold on a second. Hold on. Okay, Stop. Are we done? So what I'm going to tell you guys right now, we're thinking we might have to move the whole design down here. Move it? It's a little far away. I thought it would be high enough, but it's not. I told you. I told you. What do you mean oh, far man. up? Because you're looking at a different angle. You're far away. Let's go. Let's move this faster. That's the chaos right there. You win some, you lose some. The best way to do this is just like tattooing. Get down the darkest pigment and build up to the lights. Dark, medium, light, medium, dark. They're just putting down cups, and I'm just painting the picture. They're calling me the blend daddy now. They're going to be calling me the tat daddy tomorrow. It's tough, because you're looking at it upside down, you know? It's tough, because I'm doing it with water in general. <laughs> Just get the drawing on the ground. We need that mat now? Here. Now we're at a stopping point. We got to wait for you. Getting there. Josh Payne's starting to get frustrated with me that I'm not drawing this thing as quick as he wants. Don't worry about every cup. That, that's our job. You just get the drawing on the ground. Josh, why don't you just run your dark lines in the whole square? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My team is such strong personalities. I got to tone them down a little bit, make sure they're listening to me. That's the only thing that's going to keep us together and get us to the end. What are they doing over there? A face. All the cups that they have down right now are just black. I think you're out of time. Two hours remaining, guys. Work, my little ants. Do this. Speed and efficiency, that's what these challenges are about. Does this look OK? Yeah. Go to the black on the mouth. Make it a little bit of a line with brown. They're snapping it together. They're a lot closer to being done than we are. It looks like a face? Yeah. Teamwork, my friends. That's how we do it. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Yeah. It's a beautiful eye. You guys wrapped that up quick. You guys crushed it. Pillow, great. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, team. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, time to critique your work. Team Anthony. Your strong points are nailing the proportions from the size of the pupil to the eyebrow and everything in between. The area that you really hit the fundamentals is your color palette. It really shows an excellent use of blending colors, creating color, and making it play well in such a vast space. They did an eye. Everybody can draw an eye. It's simple. Show me something that I'm going to be afraid of. Team Steve. Fundamentals are shown here. You got nice color blends, a little bit of negative space here in the body of this beetle, which really gives it some dimension. Your outline stands strong. The symmetry in the outline really looks good. It has a lot of great contrast. It's a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Steve's team, the design is very basic. We're here to do artwork, not tattoo flesh. Team DJ. I love the border. I love the concept of making it a stamp. With all this dark background and this framing, it really pushes the bus forward. The really heavy shadowing in the bus stands out from a mile away. Even the meticulous nature in which you put the two cents in here, really detailed. You did a killer job. No line work. Thought it was fundamental. This edge is missing. Half the cups don't have water. Three in between each. Count them. You can't hate on this thing, dude. Listen, I'll say it outright. You're going to have to pull things off like this to get your moment of shine. That's just where it's going to go. Thank God. I don't think there's any need to deliberate. 
I think we're all agreed. The judges have decided that the winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Welcome, guys. As you can see, Oliver is not here this week. So filling in for him, we've invited a very special guest judge. Tattooing for 20 years, he's the owner of Tommy Montoya's Clockwork Tattoo Club. None other than Mr. Tommy Montoya. What's up, guys? I'm known for black and gray and portraits, but I like to call myself a jack of all trades, and one of my models is you pick it, I'll stick it. So I like to do everything. When I see a bad tattoo, I get very pissed. I'm gonna tear some of these guys a new one. This is the last week a new shop will enter the competition. <laughs> oh, I'm so stoked this is the last shop coming in. We just gotta eliminate everybody that's already here. You've reached a milestone, but remember, only one shop will earn two $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. And for the first time ever, the title of Master Shop. Right now, it's time to meet the last returning veterans. They both competed on season five, and one of them also competed on season seven. No, no. Representing Golden Skull Tattoo in Las Vegas, Nevada, Clean Rock One, and Aaron Is. Oh. Oh. I met this joker on season five, and ever since, we've been broskies. We both already know what our strengths and weaknesses are, because we were trying to utilize them against each other last time. He claims to be the portrait king over here. You do claim yeah. that you're the portrait yeah. guy. I'll put money on it. The precision is not there in that mouth. Those lips are not her lips. Portrait king just got decrowned. Aaron, what's it feel like to be eliminated? Because I've never been there. The veteran about to walk through the door is one of the most versatile artists ever to compete. Clean Rock One. You kind of lose that genuine look of his smile. The shape of the mouth itself, Reagan has a bump on the bottom right side that really comes up, and you do it pretty straight. Queen gets a pass a lot of times. What's up, Christian? Hey, you know what? You guys all got something to say. At least I got the balls to say it. Third time's a charm, clean. I got a score to settle with the old knucklehead. There's not one person I want to compete against more than this guy. Let him know to keep his bags packed, because he's not going to stay very long. Oh, yeah. This week is designed to put your shop to the test. Succeed and you stay, but fail, and your shop will go home just as quickly as you return. This week, we're testing precision. Precision is being very, very accurate with every single line and every single little detail that you put into your piece of art. This whole time, I've been practicing everything that's my weakness. I'm coming in hot on this one. For this flash challenge, you need a steady hand because instead of using tattoo machines to puncture skin, you must use a drill to puncture wood. Oh. Using different size drill bits, your design will be determined by the size of the holes you drill and the distance between them. I have used a power drill to hang up art on the wall, but I have never made art with it. This is just gonna be a nightmare. Win, and your shop will have the power to assign all the human canvases for the elimination tattoo. You have five hours, and your time begins now. Awesome. Okay, let's, let's do it. Today, these artists are gonna drill into a board and use a light behind it to create a pattern. I'm doing a Kraken, that's gonna be insane. Precision in this challenge is gonna be everything in order to create holes to create depth and dimension in the piece. So for bright whites, big holes close together for the bright whites. Also, precision will be necessary to keep the piece looking aligned and tight. Yeah, it's gonna be the candle. I'm drilling them out because I need to start drawing my lines. I'm like a dude, dude. I'm not afraid of any power tools. I got a whole garage full of the damn things. We decided to cut out huge portions of the board. Nobody else is gonna do it because it's so risky. All the solid whites are gonna come through like Jesus in the clouds, baby. We need to get this first skull pick and let everybody in the house know that we're here and we mean business. Awesome, so far so good. Think about what you're doing before you do it. Everybody's gonna try and do some crazy big piece to show off. And all you got to do is go simple. We go right back to basics. Geometric shapes. How many painters are painting a still life? This skull pick is vital, man. We got people on our side now, and we're all gunning for that alliance on the other side of the room. It's time to send them home. 
here, they need to be squattier and see more of it up here. Oh, no, this would be in front of it. You I'm guys, just, do I'm, what you want. So no conversation at all? I mean, I'm telling you. The handle does not do literally look like this. You're doing it wrong. That's all I'm telling you. Eulis and I have a very balancing dynamic. Being a dick. No, I'm not. But when he is done listening, he is done listening. Can you just like... Can I do what? You know what you're doing, obviously, no. because you won't listen to anything that I say. If we can't smooth this out, there's no reason to even continue, because nothing good comes out of that. I don't know how to continue it now. Then do what you were going to do, and we'll take the hit for it. Two more hours to go, guys. Two more hours. It's all gonna go very fast from here. I've actually created a special tool to be able to make perfect circles on our canvas. Those holes are all pretty equal. Oh, it looks really cool. Matt's gonna be doing a lot of work today. Does it look like I do woodworking back home? No. Let's do the exact same thing on the bottom. Katie is just sitting around, not drilling holes, not drawing holes, not measuring anything. Now introducing Katie, professional wipey girl. Oh, you didn't finish the wing. Oh, that was, I thought that was like an erase one. Aaron and I are still struggling with some communication issues. I just don't, I just don't want it to look like polka dots, which is what it did look like the first time. Can we just skip flash challenges? I like the second one. I don't know why you got rid of it. All right. It's hard to keep bringing the same fight every week. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. No more drilling. I think the judges are gonna love this design. Classic Trilogy did some straight up art class boring <laughs> And I don't give a about this pattern that Black Cobra's got. Like, come on, we got this in the bag. All right, guys, it is time to critique your work. And Basilica Tattoo, let's start with you. I do like the cleanliness of the design. Your ladybugs are smaller, more detailed. You use different size of drill bits to create shading. You definitely created depth. I think it's cool. Thank you. Empire State Studio, this could have been a train wreck. I think you guys did a good job. If this thing were to go awry, you would see it in a second. So I think you guys showed off strong precision in this piece. Artistic skin design. It's appealing to the eye when you look at it. As far as precision, some of those tentacles are a little bit crooked. You want to make sure when you're sitting there with that drill, you're hitting every hole. Classic trilogy tattoo. We wanted to make something real simple, but still show precise light directions and shapes. Damn, homie, this is sick. I like the way you did the little burst up there. We get that idea of a light source. For as simple as it can be, this is where it all starts. These are the shapes. It's a pleasure to look at, and I'm happy for you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. They like it, finally. I think a lot of people have written us off, but we're not out of this game yet. Black Cobra tattoos. You've created quite an optical illusion. It actually does play with your eyes, which is pretty incredible, considering it's a piece of wood with a drill. You show ultimate precision. Great job. We didn't come here to mess around. Yeah, we're in it to win it. They did circles. Good job, guys. Unkindness art. I like the top half of this a lot more than the lower half. The head, the shoulders is so precise. But then as you go down, it's kind of like wah, wah, wah. Allegory Arts. Your design is pretty loose. Your chain gets a little out of shape. And in the spider web as well. There's some discrepancies. I just don't know if it's going to compete with the rest of the field. Old Town Inc. I'm not blown away by the design. I wish it was a little more interesting, but the bottom circle that everything's radiating from is a very nice touch. You guys really show a lot of precision in that area. Golden Skull Tattoo. There's definitely contrast in it. There's some things in there that could have been a little more precise, but you attempted a difficult piece. Pretty cool. I didn't come back to pussyfoot around everything. I'm going to go balls to the wall on every single flash challenge I got. Insane. For the first time in Ink Master history, you have each come here with a fellow artist from your tattoo shop to prove that your shop is the best. You will succeed as a team, and you will fail as a team. It's crazy. Win, and you both win, but lose, and you're both out.
This is no longer a solo sport. This is two people being able to work together. Any miscommunication could cost us the title. The last shop standing will win $200,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. That is a bigger prize than I was expecting. $200,000, we could pay off our student loans. But that's not all. Your shop will also earn the first ever title of Master Shop. When you go to businesses that have the stickers that says like, best in the city, you're like, damn, I wanna go do that. So if we have a thing that said, we are Master Shop, well, that's pretty cool. We have to win Master Shop. <laughs> it's a brand new tattoo shop. We're putting ourselves on the map for the world. Winning this would be a huge stepping stone to make the Mark Society a household name in the industry. Your first opportunity to win starts right here, right now, by winning your first Flash Challenge. We are at the Frozen Carnival in Ice at Skyland Stadium, and you're surrounded by more than 100 tons of ice. That's a lot of ice. For your first Flash Challenge, you must create a sculpture that represents your shop out of a block of ice. I'm a tattoo artist. Ice? Picks? Hell no. Everything in this competition depends on you guys working together. You're representing for yourselves, and you're representing for where you work. These flash challenges are not made to be easy, but if you're a true artist, you can make art out of anything. This is your chance to get a leg up on the competition. This is your chance to intimidate the other players. This is your chance to bond as a team. Start today, start hard. Yeah. Win, and you'll receive a huge advantage. You have four hours, and your time starts now. Let's do it. All right, Bubba. All right, man. You're representing your whole business. You come in here and you screw up this time, you're not just screwing up yourself. What are you thinking? I was thinking some kind of robot, and then his hand up here. For this first challenge, what we're looking for is someone to be creative and work together and do the best they can at something they've never done before. So what was your idea? I'm thinking about doing a koi fish. If these people have a problem working together right off the bat, they shouldn't have come here together. One of my ideas was to incorporate the logo in there somewhere. I don't want to force anything extra. I should mimic what you're doing on the other side, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, that'd be cool if you want. We were thinking the best thing to do would be to cut out the bigger pieces first. I got to do the top because you're all short and whatnot. <laughs> I really like working with my significant other. Your ball and chain. You're my ball and chain. I like your... It's <laughs> not a good thing to say. <laughs> All I want to see is this damn fin. And he said it's going like that. I'm not sure yet. Bang is a hard ass. I had no idea that we were literally going to be doing everything together. I'm telling you, we need to start building these fins now before we go any lower. We don't even have the fin or this. We don't have none of that yet. We're not there yet. We're not on the same page, obviously. If we're gonna carve out an inch, we need to plan to have this left over for the fin. He has this idea and this vision, and I'm just not seeing it right now. This is gonna be this. Look at the perspective. Two more hours remaining, two more. Just remember, no risk, no reward, we got this. I definitely feel like we're underestimated being two females in the tattoo industry, which is totally male dominated, but that just puts the fuel in the fire. I mean, if we can come out of here winning the first flash challenge. Dude, that'd be so dope. Right? The tail feathers can only go so far because there's only so much ice. As long as the effect is there, you know? Yeah. Doom and I have only worked together for maybe five months. We're going to be learning a lot about each other as this competition progresses. I'm known in the industry for having a lot of detail in my tattoos. How about we just get done everything on here first, and then if there's time, then you can experiment. <laughs> then we can give it a crown. Erin is my boss. She has a decade more experience, but your experience doesn't matter. What matters is how you're going to navigate this competition. I'm just going to cut in as much as I can. OK. And, and yeah. Cool. We'll see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm trying to just mash my hand. I love working together. He's my best friend. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. He's my coworker. I'd kind of like to round this stuff off. Okay. He's my husband. I do neo-traditional tattoos, but I can make a clean, solid tattoo in every style. <laughs> oh, my god. Are they flower books? Yeah, they're flower books. How the f did you do that? I figured out. 
that I could make some roses on the inside of the ice. I should do one more over here, right? I don't think we should worry about filling it because we don't want it to be super cluttered. I specialize in a lot of illustrative tattooing with a very strong traditional background. With our powers combined, we could be an unstoppable force. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. No more sculpting. A wrap. First ice sculptor. Bam! Hit it. <laughs> all right, pins and needles. It is now time to critique your work. Talk to me about your design. Some love goes into all of our work that we do. We're all about heart. I like how recognizable it is right off the bat. There's some very small little veins and some of the ventricles up top that are nice, but the big veins down to the center, very smooth, very well done. This is a way to really come out swinging and start off on the right foot. Unkindness art. You created one large image that's incredibly readable with various textures. You guys put everything you had into creating a piece of art that's risky. To see what you're able to do with a tattoo machine is going to be exciting. I look forward to seeing it. Thank you. Thank you. Thicker than blood. This is a strong image and it's powerful, and that's what we are at the shop. Looks like it's a Hanya mask. The anatomy is a little bit off. There's no forehead, and it's all chin. Artistic skin design. You guys really put a lot of time into the beveling, and especially you took a lot of time or detail in the mouth to get that deep setback mouth with the teeth. Valiant effort for a new medium. Next up is Black Anchor. Everybody went pretty 3D, and y'all went totally flat. Being the first challenge out of the gate, take the brakes off. You gotta go, man. Go, go, go. Everybody knows who Carlos is. He's very popular on the internet. I was expecting to be wowed by their ice sculpture, and it was literally a little flat. Next up is the Marked Society. What better than a tattoo machine? It's super clean and legible, but what's super impressive is how straight and precise you were able to make each line in this piece. Thank you, thank you. Allegory Arts. How does this identify your shop? It's clearly the logo, correct? <laughs> it is. It's also the state of Alabama, which is where our shop is. The creativity of using the shape of the state as the whole block, adding the tip and the top with the flowers poking out through it. The way you put the flower in the background by impressing it in so you see it from the front is very nice. The craftsmanship is very well done. Wow, thank, thank you. you very much. Classic trilogy tattoo. We're pretty much like a big nerd shop. So like everything we do is just pop culture and fun. It's a big, cool, fun image. You really got the shape of the ice to become what it is, and that really stands out, and it's bold and strong. Tri-Cities tattoo. They could definitely tell it's a fish, but it is a little bit hard to see exactly what's going on. Seems like there's a lot of ice that you just took away, and then a lot of ice that you didn't use. Gotcha. Tri-Cities look like a damn beach whale. I don't know what the hell they were going for. Today's first flash challenge, the stakes are a lot higher than ever before because we've never given out 200 grand. We've never had shops battling out. There's a lot on the line for the reputation of the shop, but I also think this is a great advantage. If they're smart and they come in with someone who has what they don't have, those are the teams that are really going to shine. I was pretty impressed with Allegory Arts. You know, they really used a lot of different techniques. They did a couple little trick effects that just really set them apart. I also think that Pins and Needles did a great job with the anatomical heart. Their piece was probably the most legible piece. One shop that did a really great job in terms of using the entire block of ice was Unkindness Art. That is a sculpture, a bird from every angle you look at it. We're all pretty agreed, yeah? Yeah. Got Let's it. let them know. Today at Skyland Stadium, some shops made a strong first impression. The judges have decided the winner of the first flash challenge Welcome. This competition began with 18 of you, and now only half of you remain. Five on Team Nunez and four on Team Peck. For this flash challenge, it's Team Peck versus Team Nunez. Now the numbers. The winners of the flash challenge will have the power to assign all human canvases in the elimination tattoo as a team. That's what's so. up. This week, we're testing detail. Detail is when you have all the extras on there. If there's a cake, it's the icing, the sprinkles, the name, the cherries, all that is the details. And today, you have a very special canvas. 
a Dodge Charger. I love working on cars. I've been painting cars since I was a kid. While Dodge Chargers come in unique colors such as Plum Crazy and Tor Red, featured here, you must draw a detailed design onto an all-white Charger using only permanent markers. Oh, man. Do you realize how huge a Dodge Charger is in comparison to the size of a Sharpie? You have got to be kidding me. Your design must accentuate the power of the Dodge Charger. You have thousands of Sharpies here. Go to town on these things. Treat the car like a lady. Use every line and every curve of the car to make it beautiful. Team Peck, you had an artist eliminated last week, so your team will be working with one less artist. With only four people, it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass to cover this whole car. We really need to win this skull pick because we can't afford to go down to three players in this competition. We just went through an intense elimination, and anything can happen at any time, all the time. Coasting will get you slammed, so do your best work always. You will have six hours to create a powerful, detailed design on your Dodge Charger. And your time starts now. Okay. Let's start with the front. The artists have to draw a lot of detailed work on a big canvas. Put one little sharp line in the car, you're not gonna see it from across the room. Because it's detailed. I would do a really cool rendition of a ram. This is the time for my team to really step it up. We've gotta win this flash challenge and get this back to a level playing field. You just have to think about what's going to look dynamic. I love the idea of redoing the little B thing that's going to be tight. We could do the B holding on to the front grill like, like this. Like... <laughs> that's what she said, and I love that idea. And that shows the power, right? What's more powerful and strong wherever than, like, metal <laughs> chains? Man, I think we're getting into a mess with chain. Nate has proven himself to be pretty useless in team challenges. And Boneface is not an artist. The fate of Team Peck lies in the hands of me and Gian. You think we got time to do all that with a Sharpie yeah, in six much. hours? There's That's no way, man. Boys, this is what we're doing. It's a lot of chain, but we have six hours. Who came up with this crazy idea of doing bees? Oh, yeah, that was me. We're doing these cute-ass little bumblebees on this muscle car. I'm not so sure about it. I said we make them look more angry, because that thing just doesn't look tough to me. Drawing, like, mean and burly and stuff, you might be better suited to making that character. Last week, I got my ass ramped. You got really comfortable because you didn't feel like your ass was on the line. That can't happen again. Some people get four strikes, I get one. Four more hours, guys. Four more hours. Seems like it needs more crap, like the um, nose, how the nose looks. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right here. I'm not going to the bottom again. I need to win the splash challenge so I can get a little bit of control in what happens. I was thinking maybe we should just tape off and do like some racing stripes over the top to the back. I would go from the sides and forget about that roof. I have great ideas, but they just won't listen to me. You think there should be a color? No, like line it. Maybe there should be a well, color. On the inside? Like you see how this is thick line? I'll thick line the inside with yellow. This is your final hour. Why did we go so hard with the freaking colors? I feel like they're doing detail in like black. Ours is way cooler. Yeah, but it's not gonna get done. It won't get done. Sketchy has pulled me out of bad moments time after time trying to get my head in the game. How is he not taking his own advice? Get your act together. Five, four, three, two, one, that's it. Time is up, Sharpie's down. Damn. Dope. He's my favorite. <laughs> what is Team Nunez doing? Bees make honey. Bees are sweet. That's not a powerful animal. We'll live with it. All right, guys, time to critique your work. Today, you had to show detail by accentuating the power of the Dodge Charger. Team Peck, you're up first. Lots of really great detail. The iconic ram, the chains breaking away. Each one of those links is the same size. We were also That's... down one person from the Nunez team. So we went putting as much detail as we possibly can in with line work. You paid attention to the main keywords today were detail and the power of the car. 
You also hit flow. The way this is designed to fit on the car, the nose to the goat, and the eyes in the recesses of the shape of the hood, the horns going around the wheels is awesome. What I don't like about this is that yellow in the fire. Terrible idea to put that yellow in there. It looks like if that fire was red to match that stripe, it would look awesome. It's the only place on the car where it looks like you sketched with a Sharpie. That kills it. Team Nunez. I'm surprised out of five artists that y'all all agreed on cute cartoon bees to show the power of a muscle car. You definitely have detail in the cartoon bees, but you have a huge white car and some thin black lines that when you look up close, you see a lot of inconsistencies. It's not stacking up. It really looks like you put a lot of time and effort into the bees on the hood. The problem is that the strength doesn't follow through so that you actually get some play out of the shapes of the car. Looking at our car now, these bees might be too stupid. Hindsight. All right, guys, today we're testing detail, showing the power of Dodge Charger. One man down, your team seemed to really do well today. Short of man, they still all seemed to really work well together. They took the detail challenge and really ran with it. It had the same hand style throughout, the thick lines, the thin lines, the detail lines. It's a very strong, powerful image that is relatable to the brand. I feel like my team came off a little flat. I think they just took a bad approach. The actual detail in the bees and the cartoony style they had is awesome. The bee was a great concept in theory. They just don't create any movement with the car. Just let them know. Yeah, all right. Today was Team Peck versus Team Nunez, and you had to create a detailed design inspired by the power of the Dodge Charger. The judges have decided the winners of today's Flash Challenge. Hey, YouTube. It's Chris Nunez. Don't forget to subscribe to Spike's channel. Welcome. Each judge set out to find the five strongest artists on their team. Congratulations, Team Nunez. You have made the cut. This week, Team Peck, you're up for elimination. And it's your last chance to prove to Oliver that you deserve to make it to his top five. And this week, we're testing ingenuity. Ingenuity means being inventive and creative. If a tattoo doesn't show ingenuity, it's going to look really boring and stale. Today, you must create a sculpture made of just one material, metal rods. Using angle grinders and welders, you must bend and connect metal rods to create a dynamic sculpture out of nothing but lines. The more limited your medium, the more you need ingenuity to make something extraordinary. Sculpture, scary. Metal, scary. Welding, scary. All the odds are against me right now. Today, you'll be working in pairs. Team Nunez, not only are you safe from elimination this week, you're also calling the shots. You'll have the power to assign the pairs. Who these guys can work with will make or break them. So choose wisely. Go ahead and take a minute to discuss. Of course, you definitely pair people up that don't get along. Don't do that. Let's do that. Come on. Really? Oh, Bon and Gio. No. That's what I said. No. Remember, this is for their top five. These are the people you're going to compete against. So laugh, but be serious about who you're going to pick. I got this. I got this. I'll make a pair. OK, Team Nunez, tell Team Peck what the pairings will be. First pair is going to be Gia and Boneface. This wasn't a team yes. decision. That's Sketchy's decision. Oh, he's making his own decision? Yeah, he went rogue. Wow. That's not what the team came up with. That's up. So, so what? Sketchy is an asshole. He wants to see Gia and Boneface work together. It's not happening. Why? Because it's a challenge. Fine. All right, whatever. Let's do it y'all's way, and then we'll see what happens. Have you had a chance to reconvene? Yes. Ryan and Gia. Boneface and Gian. Nate and Mike. You guys have to start playing chess and not checkers. At some point, you're going to be against those girls. As soon as that last person leaves, that's not going to be your crew anymore. It's not how it's going. Knock that shit off. I'd make them uncomfortable, but that's you. The winners of the Flash Challenge will have the power to assign all human canvases and the elimination tattoo together. You have five hours to show ingenuity by transforming metal rods into an extraordinary sculpture. And your time begins now.
This is really going to test the artist's ingenuity. They have to be able to creatively visualize what they're going to make. Man, geometry just kicked in. I want to keep my stronger players on, but I don't think anybody's above dropping a ball at this point. It's going to be a whole new game once we get to the top five on each side. I still think my idea was the best. No, I was not about to listen to you and putting him with her. Just so you can watch them melt down here. We would have had fun watching. I'm not sadistic not towards somebody that I have an alliance fun. with. Your alliance. This is going to backfire on you guys. All right, babe, wish me luck. Everyone's doing a skull thing. What they're they? not doing a skull, are they? Yeah, they're doing like a bowl skull. Are they just doing like a line drawing? No, they're doing like 3D, dude. Now that the guys are dwindling down, I have to help them out. Ryan and G are definitely gonna f***ing people if they win. Man, we can make a robot, dude. Robot, I dig it. We can make it all square, too. Hell yeah. We're doing two roses. Can I make a suggestion? Take the table that you're working off of, make it into a bench. It's a good idea. As long as the girls don't win. So you guys are going to build onto the table like that? Ingenuity. Yeah. And while you're doing that, I can go ahead and mark the lit for with We'll do everything. Yeah. Three hours to go. Three more hours. So it's going to take a lot longer than I thought. Because of my legs, I can't sit on the ground. OK, I'm going to come over one. Well, two, and we'll do it together. I'm starting to feel pretty weary in my legs. I get a buildup of fluid sometimes, which is a byproduct of my cancer treatments. And that pressure is really uncomfortable. I've had two major surgeries, and I still have repercussions of that every day. You beat cancer, but you don't ever truly beat it. <laughs> Gia is obviously having a really hard time. If we're going to win this thing, I need to get in there. Hold it from the bottom like that. Do you want to get the antlers on first? Then I'm going to wrap them with the copper. Yeah. Using the copper wiring to create another color on our sculpture is the definition of ingenious. Boys are dumb. <laughs> Boys are so dumb. We're going to fight just as hard or harder than every single man in this house. What a badass. It's so tight. Final hour of welding. I'm a big guy. Gian is the little guy. So I'm doing the heavier work, and he's doing the technical work. What do you think? We're going to show ingenuity by making it look creative and functional at the same time. I got to win this thing right now and take out one of these girls. Five, four, three, two. One, that's it, time's up, no more welding. Robot, it's arms move. That's ingenuity, I haven't heard of it. Yeah, man. Nobody else's sculpture is gonna move. That is ingenuity right there. This is in the bag for us. Ours doesn't move. Ours doesn't move. <laughs> okay, first up is Gian and Boneface. I gotta tell you out of the gate, the skulls and roses, sick to death of. However, the idea of taking your artwork, combining it into a chair, shows functionality and usability. Sketchy told us that he used to do chairs and just try to make a bench out of this thing. Great use of ingenuity. So you actually got an assist from Team Nunez. Oh, hell yeah. The skull is a perfect symmetrical image right in the center. Very legible. I don't know if it looks like the most comfortable bench in the world, but it stands out strong. Nate and Mike. We made a robot and it moves. It definitely stands out exactly what it's supposed to be. The wrapping you did around the legs, like the springs or the flex hose kind of look, you would have captured that a little more if it was more consistent. I like it, man. I like the fact that you thought enough to be able to make the arms move. That shows ingenuity. I like the concept and the plan. Thank you. Thanks. Ryan and Gia. We both went for the deer skull because the challenge was ingenuity. We wanted to do something that had lots of curvature, which was pretty much the opposite of the materials that we were given. You've got a lot of details. You've got the teeth at the bottom. You've got the shape of the cranium. You've got different layers of the eye sockets. But to make use of the material that you were using to weld with in a way that it's not necessarily intended to be used is a great use of ingenuity. Thank you. Today, we're testing ingenuity whittling down to the top five. What do you think overall of your team? Everybody really went forward. They put a lot of effort into it. Let's talk about Boneface and Gian. They utilized the actual table they were working on as part of their design. They make it into the bench that serves as art, 
and as functionality. That overtakes the other projects in the room. I see what you're saying, and I agree with you on the ingenuity and the functionality. I think that's really a clever design. I wonder if it's still not quite as complicated as what Ryan and Gia did. It's got a great artistic design to it, making all those bins look symmetrical. The spherical shape shows the most ingenuity to put this thing together like that. Want to let them know? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Today, you had to show ingenuity creating a sculpture out of metal. The judges have decided that the winners of today's Flash Challenge... Hey, YouTube. It's Chris Nunez. Don't forget to subscribe to Spike's channel. Welcome, guys. As the numbers shrink, the competition grows more intense. Because in the end, only one artist will win $100,000, a feature in Ink Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. And also on the line is a guest spot at Chris's shop, handcrafted in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, or Oliver's shop, Elm Street Tattoo in Dallas, Texas. Only one team is up for elimination each week as the judges narrow their artists to the top five. Based on the rotation established in the first Flash Challenge, Team Nunez, you are up for elimination. This week, we're testing legibility. Oh. Legibility is when you look at something and you can tell what it is. For the Flash Challenge, you must work with a completely unpredictable medium. Electricity. What the f Using a live 12-volt battery and electrical wires, you must press a hot wire to canvas, scorching a design into the canvas. Hold down the wire for too long, and you'll burn right through the canvas. Press too lightly, and your design will be unreadable. I've never handled live wires before. I'm really, really scared. I don't know if I'm going to hurt myself, if I'm going to burn myself. I'm just praying that I don't f up too badly. I'm going to cry right now. Team Peck, not only are you safe from elimination this week, but you're also calling the shots. You get to assign the overall style for this Flash Challenge. Take a minute to discuss what you'd like to assign. There's a lot of options. That's something tricky, too, because you only get one pass on it. I definitely want to pick something hard for these guys, something that they're going to mess up. You cool with it? OK, cool. I got it. All right, guys, what have you chosen? Marine life underwater. You guys are competing for the skull picks. This is important. Put your all into it, because this can get you the canvas you're looking for or put you with the nightmare that you've seen this competition. So this is your chance to be safe. The winner of the Flash Challenge will have the power to assign all human canvases in the elimination tattoo. You have five hours to create a legible image using only electricity, and your time starts now. These artists are not used to working with this type of material to create art. Burning into the canvas is going to be really slow and tedious, and if they don't focus, Nothing's happening. They're going to have a really rough time. Oh, it's hot. Damn, the limits do get hot. Mental fortitude in this competition is everything. You have to be centered, you have to be in your own MySpace, and you have to be able to keep everybody else out of it. Let's do the This burns the out of my hands. Oh, I'm gonna die. You're not gonna die. Burn my What's your plan? Wait a minute, wait I a minute. I have no goddamn plan except not die. Ow! Yeah, she's gonna get hot. I got this. I'm gonna pull up another koi because I really don't know how to use this equipment right now, and I need to play it safe. Ouch. Whew. You're doing smaller than most people, so better make that really legible. I don't want to make it big because I don't have time. I can't wait to have this call pick. I need to win this flash challenge. It's got to go easy. Put details now. All right, guys, three hours remaining. I'm going to do a seahorse. Recognizable little suckers. Ow, mother Every moment of my life is hell, so everybody knows. At least the payoff is big once it gets really hot in your hand and you see that, like, inch and a half line that you made. Worth it. What are you doing, Servan? I got a little fish tank. Just keep adding my fish. I don't know what kind of fish that is, but I know it's a fish. Last week, I was fighting for my life. You made a mess. I mean, it's crazy. I want a skull pick right now. I've been at the bottom. And if this is a chance for me to get out of it and put somebody else down there, then I'm playing the game right. One hour remaining, guys. 
piss <laughs> balls. Yeah. Hey, how are you? About as good as yours and hers and his. I have a <laughs> squiggle. <gasps> Holy <laughs> heaven! Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> have you done this before? Look at that. Bro. You rat bastard. This is scary as hell, but I got my technique down pretty damn quick. You even have shading. F you. Kevin's like, hang on while I get the drop shadow on the fin. That's really going to make it pop. I feel like the silhouette of a hammerhead shark, you know what the hell it is. You know how their heads are. So I do my best to make that legible. Nikki's on fire. Oh, piss, man. I want nothing to do with this. I look like an idiot. I never thought that I would fail so hard at something. Can I just quit now? Because I'm lighting things on fire? I hate it. I'm done. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. No more spikling. Used every last second. Everyone on Team New Year's did horribly. So happy that this is Team New Year's Flash Challenge and not Team Pay. Okay, it is now time to critique your work. Nikki. That is a terrible, terrible drawing. Today was just humiliating. It's a piss poor excuse for a porpoise or a dolphin or whatever it is. This would take an hour. This took another Hour. Luckily, this is not sending somebody home. Don't break and don't quit. Servan? Your drawing aesthetic on these fish is very remedial. You just have some simple outlines. Yes, it's legible. You hit certain things and missed others. Kelly? I recognize it as a seahorse. I can kind of see your style and sensibility in it. It's a broken record. Everybody had a rough time. I've seen you produce when it comes to a tattoo. This challenge really took the wind out of you. Tito? Koi fish, as rudimentary as it is, is a legible feature. The other elements that you have in there aren't quite as legible. We've already seen one koi from you in the past. Hopefully you're out of kois, because I don't really care to see any more from you. This is hysterical. Every person on Team Nunez is this thing up, and I love it. Sketchy. It's probably one of the hardest mediums I've ever worked with but I didn't overreact on it. I didn't get pissed off at it. Well, sketchy, the actual sketch is much better than most of the others. There's strong lines on the back. It is legible. You can see what it is. All right, Kevin. It's a legible image. You got the silhouettes in the background, the ones in the distance. The ability to shade it. You found a way to get darker areas, lighter areas. You were even able to put a little bit of foreground in with a tiny little guy at the bottom. I think it also is kind of a large statement to those who really try, can do. And a lot of people with negative attitudes about this whole challenge, crying about the process instead of just working with it, it paid off for you. Thank you. Eric. I had a big idea in my head, but once I started, it was, it was pretty hard. It's sketchy, but for this medium, I think that's how it is. One thing I'll say about yours is you have the best layout scene of anybody. Yeah, those top two fish actually have the sense of being underwater. Thank you. All right, guys, today we're testing legibility. Really tough outing for everyone. Chris, this is your team. Does this worry you going forward? There's tattooers. They're a really strong unit. When it comes to adversity like we saw today, maybe not the strongest crew. Kevin, Sketchy, and Eric have positive points in yeah. their canvas. Eric, the little work he got done, he was headed in the right direction for creating a scene. Kevin did a really great job in terms of using the whole canvas, getting different values. Not giving up on it. Not giving right? up with Everybody else is just beat down negativity, total meltdown. I'd love to disagree with Oliver. I'd love to be like, no, man but my team let me down. So today, I gotta be the first guy to get past it and to try to rally them and get them back on pace. If not, we're in for a total show here. Should we let them know? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, today you were judged on legibility. This challenge was a beat down, but I think the biggest thing that hurt everybody was the negativity. The few people that stayed calm and seemed to have the most positive attitudes had the strongest pieces. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge. Hey, this is Oliver Peck. Be sure to subscribe to Spike's YouTube for more Ink Master videos. Oh my God. Are you kidding me?
Welcome. Team Nunez competed in the last elimination tattoo. So that means this week, Team Peck, you're up for elimination. Each judge must thin out his group until only the top five artists remain on each team. The pressure is on. This week, we're testing precision. What? Precision means your lines are perfect, your color is laid in evenly, you have tiny, minute details. If a tattoo artist doesn't have precision, the tattoo comes off as sloppy or even unprofessional. To handle the pressure of this competition, you must be able to keep your cool. Corona believes it's important to stay positive and grounded. Sometimes you have to take a step back and be carefree, and that is called finding your beach. Today, we've brought the beach here. Team Nunez, you're safe from elimination this week, and you are calling the shots. For this flash challenge, Team Peck must help each of you find your beach by sculpting it. Just because I'm from Puerto Rico doesn't mean I like to play with sand. Really? There's a saying, never build a house on the sandy foundation. Sand is unpredictable. It could fall apart at any time. How are we going to show precision? Team Nunez, it's up to you to decide as a team which one of you will be paired up with each artist from Team Peck. Your beach can be anything that puts you in a laid back, positive state of mind and helps you find your happy place. Kelly. You won the last elimination tattoo. Because there are more artists on Team Peck than Team Nunez, two artists will sculpt your beach. Ooh. Take a moment to talk as a team and decide who is going to be paired up. We want them to have a hard time with this thing. Do we want to lob someone an easy ball? No. Someone has to win. My team today is on a bye week. They don't have to compete. Hopefully my team plays smart so that Team Peck's top tattooer doesn't get skull pick. All right, Team Nunez. One by one, please reveal which artist must help you find your beach. Kelly. I want to work with Ryan and Matt. I don't want to see Ryan or Matt fail. I'm trying to play fair. I want to take Gian. Nate. I'm going to take Dave. Boneface. The last flash challenge, Boneface didn't do <laughs> Hey, Boneface. We do need someone to keep time. I worked. Now it's your turn. I'm going to work with Gary. I'm gonna take Mike. I'm gonna work with Gia. Last week, she gave me the worst canvas, but now he's personal. Gia shoot for me first. Top Tito shooting back right now. The winner of the Flash Challenge will have the power to assign all human canvases in the elimination tattoo. You have five hours to help Team Nunez find their beach, and your time begins now. It's my team's turn to be up for elimination. How do you want this to go? The twist of this challenge is that the opposing team is going to dictate to my team what it is they have to sculpt. Gene Neptune holding a corona. Your competitor giving you a challenge, chances are they're going to make it tricky. I love Gothic architecture. I want two palm trees and a hammock. Really? My beach is in a concert setting watching live music. More than one. Like person playing an instrument. I mean, it's precision, so yeah. Nikki is playing the game. There's no way you can build a person with this sand, let alone a person playing a music instrument. Texas is my beach. So I was thinking doing a longhorn skull, cowboy boots, and a rattlesnake. Ah, uh, really? That's a lot of things, man. You think so? This isn't a sandbox or like a little sand castle. It's four tons of sand. For a sculpture, that's really difficult. This is sand. Well, you're wasting time talking about it. I really want this skull pick because there's a lot of really great artists on my team, and I want to be able to take someone out. Ah! Can I get a new shovel? Little do they know, I have a bachelor's degree in sculpture and I'm from Florida. I find my beach every day. Three hours, kids, three more hours. Oh my God, it's so good. If I have time, I'll cover the cauldron. You should carve out a little dome grave. Okay. I love 
Kelly right now. I know she's on Team Nunez and we're going to go head to head very soon, but I'm really thinking it'll be in all of our benefit for all of the girls to work together. Oh my God. You're so smart. I love you. The rest of these guys. <laughs> My whole sculpture is literally falling apart. I don't even think that I can create a palm tree at this point. Damn you, Tito! <laughs> there is nothing left. This is incredibly upsetting. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. No more sculpting. Hell yeah, boo. Palm trees and hammocks. Team Nunez, they didn't win the first challenge, and so they're just gonna be about it and try to give us a really, really rough ride. They're being super All right, guys, let's get into these critiques. Mike, John asked you to find his beach. What was the beach? A beautiful woman with toes in the water and a beer in the sand. It's hard to tell if it's supposed to be a mermaid or not. Her legs just kind of disappeared. Her breasts are basically laying on top of her belly button. What I will say is the way that you got the carved out cheekbone and the eye, that's the shining moment. It is recognizable. Nikki, you had Boneface find your beach. What exactly is your beach? At a show, live music, concerts. I was going to do a scene with two guys playing instruments. Sand said no. So we got a guy playing bongos now. When I walk up and look at this, I could not come up with any idea of what's going on here. As far as precision goes, not too much in there. Boneface's sculpture is a joke. I just want to see him in the bottom and out of here. Servan, what did you ask Gian to do? the beach with my dog. The whole idea of a mermaid coming up trying to take the beer. The waves in the front are the only solid, legible piece. The mermaid looks more like a weird sea crab. The head of the dog that I was making fell on my face. It looks like she's crawling to her death. OK, Eric, what did you ask Geary to do here? Gothic architecture. It's a really cool idea, and it's a great use of the natural shape of the block you got. This is the one that has symmetry to it. Every side has the same depth. I think it's a strong take. Kevin, what did you want Dave to do here? I wanted him to give me a couple elements from Texas. Where I really think you shine in this is the snake. The detail, the shape of the snake is awesome. The flow of the snake going in and out of the design is amazing. Thank you very much. Sketchy, what did you ask for here? Neptune breaching the water with a corona. The anatomy is really spot on. Everything's in proportion. A couple different textures, I think, is what really bring you into the precision element of this. Particularly the attention to detail. It doesn't have the trident, yet I knew exactly what it was. Thanks. Kelly and Matt, what was your beach? My beach is back home in Salem, in the cemeteries with the witches. I chose to do a giant witch face and incorporate the graveyard into that on the brim of the hat. It's definitely a recognizable witch. You don't have a lot of little details. The hair and the witch, I feel like some more defined lines could have really brought that out a little bit better. So Kelly. Ryan had the same challenge as Matt. Immediately, the thing that stands out to me is the cat. The head, the face, everything really came together. Getting that different clay color gives you an element that nobody else in the room has. That really helps you stand out. Gia. Well, in order to find my beach back home, I need a two palm tree and a hammock. The whole left side collapsed. This was done in the last hour. From across the room, it just looks like nothing. It's probably one of the weakest in the room. I didn't give up. I at least made it to the end. I did the best that I could. This is not my beach. We need to play the game, and we don't care who's leaving the other team. He's part of the plan. Hey, YouTube. It's Chris Nunez. Don't forget to subscribe to Spike's channel. Yes! For today's Flash Challenge, we return to the legendary Coney Island. Since the Coney Island Freak Show opened in 1880, contortionists have been one of the most popular acts. And this week, they'll also be your canvases. Let's meet them. You're gonna rip this Any challenge with half-naked women is an awesome challenge with me. Contortionists combine art and science by bending their bodies into creative and sometimes shocking shapes. Today, you must once again work in teams of two. 
Each team will be randomly assigned a pair of contortionists. You must first pose your canvases and then use body paint to transform them into something else completely. This week, you are being judged on color theory. Color theory is taking different colors and making them complement each other so that in the end, they look great. You must use a dynamic color palette to distract and direct the eye, creating a mind-blowing illusion. Clean, you won the last elimination tattoo. That means you get to assign the teams. Advantages are few and far between, so make the most of this one. The only one I'm trying to help right now is myself. I'm gonna try and screw over as many of these guys as I possibly can, because I need all the advantage I can get. Clean's headstrong, man, and I know he's here to win. Every single one of those skulls got a bullet in it. Okay, guys, please read the number on the bottom of your skull to determine your team. One. Four. One. Clean chose me because he wants to win, and I'm a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Team three. Three. I'm pairing up Megan with Sausage because I'm trying to help her out today. He's a good artist. If I paired Megan up with Alex, she would kill me. Four. Alex, really clean. This guy is checked out of the building. Number two. Two. This could be an absolute disaster. Anthony and I both primarily do black and gray, and this challenge is all about color theory. It's one of the first smart moves Clean's made. The winners of the Flash Challenge will have the power to assign all human canvases and the elimination tattoo as a team. You have four hours to use color theory to create a jaw-dropping illusion. And your time starts now. This is a hard, creative challenge. That would be freaking awesome if I knew what to do with it. First of all, you have to figure out how to position these contortionists. We need something that's going to be stable, stable, too. Second of all, they have to disguise these human figures by using the right colors to make it something amazing. Maybe put your two legs together there. Not only are we dealing with weird-ass contortionists. That's cool, but what could it be? I've never airbrushed before in my life. I can see a face right there. What do you think about the idea of a snake? What about an app in EFC? Oh, dude, her boobs as an eye? Is that a ship? As an eye? We are talking way too much and losing valuable time. That's an awful little head for a great big swan bite. <laughs> if we don't win this challenge and get a skull pick, I don't see us turning the tide at all in our favor. Well, I'm just at a loss here on this one. We can do like an alligator head. I was thinking like swan. Every idea falling out of Alex's mouth right now is absolute horse We should try to do like a macaw. I have no idea what that bird looks like. Oh, it's fine. I got it. Uh -huh. Don't worry about it. I have to take the lead in this challenge because Alex doesn't have anything to bring. This is the one, dude. This is the one. If we get that skull pick, we can totally take over. I've got 99 problems, and they're all Alex. I'm imagining it's like some body styles. Like, say, like, she's been over. Yeah, her, yeah. her head's here. I, don't know, I started to get some sort of like a clown face. The clown idea is killer. We're at Coney Island. A laughing clown seems perfect subject matter. We're going to have our contortionist actually twerk, so it's going to make the clown laugh. This is going to be awesome. I think like a spider would be like a really badass. Or what I'm thinking is like if one arch this way and one arch this way, would that not give you kind of a scorpion shape? I, I need to see them in their positions again. That was a scorpion. Yes. Because then now it's the body. Yeah, look at the legs, dude. We should sketch out where they are real quick, take them apart, and then figure out where we're painting them. Two more hours. Two more hours. We put her in front of him, maybe it legs out. Then we've got some sort of like facial structure with, you know what I'm saying? Something with horns. Like a bell skull or something? Do a demon like a pony. Yes. Nice. Yes. All right. We wasted a lot of time trying to figure out what the hell we were going to do. Now that we got it, it's going to be a sprint to the finish line. We've got two airbrushes. Let's start painting, dude. Yours can be really light on the back. It doesn't have to be really solid. Sausage seems like a really sweet little jolly dude, but he's starting to act like a dick. What do you think, white highlights? I don't know if it needs white highlights. They have, like, yellow pops here and there. That's what we should use for a highlight color. I'm just trying to do something that's going to pop out, because if this is going to be the front of him and it's going to be the main focus of it. He won't listen to my ideas. I had a bottle of white. 
I think that I have a stronger stake in this challenge than she does. I especially need to do well because I need to get control of this game and show my presence as a fierce competitor. How are you feeling? Not exactly how I would have used color theory, but it's a cool subject matter we got. We gotta win this one, Mark. This one's for the veterans. It's the badasses versus the non-badasses. Clean and St. Mark are spray painting buttholes all day long, and they're laughing their ass off. <laughs> I'm taking this serious. If this ass clown wins the challenge, I will punch everybody in the face right now. The overall idea is a strong one. It's just the final execution. It's sloppy. Who knew that color theory meant put the whole rainbow on somebody? Anybody that's paired with Alex is bound to fail. What are we doing here? There's Dave getting a truck ride. Welcome. The longer you survive, the more intense it gets as we close in on the strongest group of artists this competition has ever seen. And in the end, only one will earn $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. This week, we're testing composition. Ooh. Composition is how you take all the different elements and put them together to make something that's cohesive. For today's Flash Challenge, working in teams of two, you must use a power washer to strategically blast a massive design onto a 53-foot semi. These trucks are huge. That's a lot of ground to cover for just two people. Oh, that's God. crazy. I got into tattooing specifically to not do manual labor. Every mark you make counts, so plan carefully and keep a steady hand because there are no second chances. Sausage, you won the last elimination tattoo. That means you get to assign the teams. Be strategic. I do not have an ally in this house. I have to play this game on my own. This is gonna be a real telltale skull pick. If Sausage tries to screw me over, I'm gonna know where his loyalties lie. Artists, one by one, please read the number on the bottom of your skull to determine your team. Team number one. Three. One. Me and Sauces both have a great solid knowledge of the inner workings of this competition. It's gonna be a great fit. Three. I really feel that Megan and Christian's alliance is kind of crumbling. I don't think that they're gonna work really well as a team. Two. Two. Four. Four. I got paired up with Alex Rockoff. This is a big, manly project, man, and this dude is half of a man. The winners of the Flash Challenge will have the power to assign all human canvases in the elimination tattoo as a team. You have four hours to create a dynamic composition on a semi, and your time starts now. I thought I'm like a Medusa or something. These trucks are very long rectangles. The artists are gonna need a lot of different elements to fill up this whole area. Oval, landscape, the white truck with the design in the center. Dude, yes. Composition is everything. If it's not put together well, it's not gonna be appealing. I don't know if we need the whole truck. We just need the smaller elements that create a bigger image. Right. Even if we only did this much, at least we're creating what the rules of it are. We don't feel that we have to blast off 53 feet in order to win. Let's just think smart and efficient. I think so too. We're gonna go smaller with as much detail as possible. What I was thinking is doing like a big cobra. Over here had a big dagger. Let's throw some bones in here. Bones is good. It's taking me back to my train bombing days right here. Clean has a graffiti background, and he's had the most skull picks in this competition. I would be stupid not to follow his lead. You want me to take the reins and get it laid out? Yeah. It would be nice to have a little help around here. Alex is a tiny little guy. I don't even think he has the strength to hold the pressure washer. You know how this turns on more? Oh, your hose is kinked. See how it's kinked right there? I'm gonna have to work twice as hard because I'm gonna have to pick up his slack. Two hours remaining, everybody, two hours. Well, I think you're the star of this today. My arms are gonna be so sore tomorrow. Go quick, don't, don't be so precision with it. Otherwise, we're gonna be here all day. All right. Like a little rounder. It's a little football shape there. Oh, OK. I was expecting Manny to be kind of an asshole, but we're working well together, and everything's coming out really good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Guess what, Sausage? You get skull picks, and you 
yourself. We're gonna spank you like a little baby. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is either. It looks like a jellyfish eating the city. Me and Anthony are busting our ass to do 55 feet of artwork, and Sausage and Jimmy are doing a piece of broccoli about three feet wide on theirs. Sausage, you drop the ball. My arms, man. I'm getting pretty frustrated because I'm doing everything. Ladder, hang on. No, just, just let me handle it. I'm fine with ladders. Christian's having a super hard time getting any sort of bold or confident line or shading. Ooh, yeah. You OK? Yeah, just not as good at this as you are. I just want to give up. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. You're already starting off at a deficit. Bigger isn't always better. I think that giving you a 53-foot canvas is a pretty clear suggestion that it's supposed to be a large piece of art. Jimmy is like, what are the rules? How do we do things to what the judges said? Welcome. To outlast your competitors, you must be a strong artist and sometimes rely on the strength of your region. We do that well. Just we do, we do that very well. Once again, for this flash challenge, you will win or lose as a team. Yeah, we're the strongest ones, though. This week, we are testing legibility. Legibility is being able to read a design and recognize immediately what it is. If you have a question mark, then you don't have legibility. Today, you must create a design on an 8-foot by 12-foot canvas, one strand at a time. What the Strands of what? In these buckets are over 120 miles of various colors of yarn. Oh, shit. It's one hell of a scarf. How many grandmas do you round up to get all this yarn? You must strategically stretch and pull each strand of colored yarn from nail to nail, bringing an impressive and legible work of art to life. Forget ink, master. With all this yarn, I could be the next knit master. Sweaters for everybody. Today's challenge is legibility. We have to know what it is on the spot. You got a lot of bright colors on a black background, a lot of contrast. Think smart, think creative. Oh, that's going to be painstaking. Win this challenge, and your team will have the power to assign all of the human canvases in the elimination tattoo. We definitely need that now. You'll have six hours, and your time starts now. All right. Let's do it. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. For this flash challenge, we're judging legibility. Do you guys have good ideas? I thought of a big pair of sunglasses and then something in them. Maybe oh, the words and... east? Is that too simple? Could be. These artists have a lot of different colors of yarn to use, so picking the right colors that are going to bounce off this background and make a legible image is tough. Okay. You got bright colors. I was saying maybe doing something like a neon, like a flamingo, and maybe like art deco-ish. I mean, we're short, two team members, so whatever we do, it's got to be simple. If these strings don't line up right, it's going to get messy. We could do a lantern with a candle. Yeah, we could actually really sell a lantern. We could do it. What came to mind to me immediately was to do like a big eyeball I with like radiating like rays coming off it. If you present just that, they already beat us in creativity. But it's not creativity day, man. It's it legibility. Is. That is way more basic. It's not like now complexity day. We're losing you know time. Yeah, you know, we could still do it big. Or a UFO. I like the UFO. I yeah. Mean, it's already got that shape. That tells a story. Let's do the UFO. I still don't like it, but I like it better. I draw pictures for a living. There's a reason why I'm not a handyman. God, I wish I could hammer like you. It's yeah. the only reason I was born was hammer. Jarrell and this hammer, man. Douche, 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 douche. Mesmerizing. He's batting 100 right now. We're one of the biggest teams in the competition, and we want to keep it that way. To me, the main focus is trying to beat the West. So we got to move. We got to get it done. I'm the one moving, constantly picking up the slack for everybody. Man, I'm not vibing with anything. Everybody's getting down. They're hammering their nails in. It sounds like a goddamn construction site around here. And we're sitting here doodling on paper. Doodles don't win. We got to get this thing rolling. Five hours left.
So you know what we could do? We could take the white and we could stretch it out and we could double it up and give us a big fat white outline. Perfect. Team South is suffering a big loss right now with Patrick gone. But if there's any team in Flash Challenges that makes us feel better about ourselves, it's definitely East. The East design sucks. Oh, lettering. Nothing says legible more than lettering. That's true. Sometimes you got to spell it out for him, you know? East is going to take it home. You just kind of write it out. Pro probably East not. East wins. Uh, three hours. Three hours left, guys. Halfway there. This is how this one goes one to one, one to one, one to one. It's because this one, the spacing between these two is a little bit different. That's not a big deal. It matters. Bob's Mr. Systematic. He likes to take charge. He likes to let everybody know how he wants it done. And once he has an idea in his head, he commits. Yeah, I think you're good now. No, this gets us as a smaller gap. It is. It's a smaller gap by an inch. I measured it. I just measured it. People might bust my balls and call me a robot, but hey, this challenge was meant for one. Are these right? No. No. This is six and a half. If we don't have precise measurements, our design is going to lack in legibility. Every last detail counts, guys. One final hour, guys. This challenge has one hour remaining. I'm starting to get paranoid that we're not going to finish this. Positivity. It's true, Jess. We're all in the situation together, and we're rolling through it. I just want to radiate beauty and power and like positivity. Thanks for the reminder. Positivity is key, queen. We can do it. I just need to get up into the A. Three. Hurry up. Five, four, three, <sighs> two, one. That is it. Challenge is officially over. It lines up perfectly. Perfect, yeah. yeah, the perspective is great. Our landscape is the same color as your background. This little tiny planet has more saturation than your entire piece. And you dare to come over here to talk shit? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Only five of you remain. The closer you get to the finale, the tougher this battle becomes. Only one of you will earn $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. To make it this far, you've had to fight side by side with your team and coaches. And today is no different. For this Flash Challenge, coaches, you will once again work with your teams. And this week, we're testing contrast. Contrast is knowing how much light and dark that you have to have in an image to help push it forward and pull it back. Today, you must create a dynamic work of art, one shade at a time. Layering coat upon coat of stain to create different shades and tones, you must transform an eight foot by eight foot wood board into a high contrast piece of art. You have one kind of stain and it gets darker the more layers you put on. It's a big canvas. We want to see big, high contrast images that are highly visible. Win this challenge, and your team will have the power to assign all of the human canvases in the elimination tattoo. Got it. You have six hours, and your time starts now. All right, guys. So what are you thinking, bro? Well, well, I had thought about even, like, the torso to where we can do it big. In this contrast challenge with wood stain, we want to see amazing art. Are we doing this a realistic style? It may have a little bit of blend, but it's not going to be hyper-realistic. These advantages are more important than ever now. There's only five artists left. At this point, everybody's got a pretty good chance of making it to the finale. To go home now is going to be really sour. It's just you and I, so it's not that we know we can draw that's dope. Even, like, a heart would be cool. Honestly, you know what I was really thinking? And Jesus had the crown of thorns. We know we'd kill it. I lost Jeremy last week. So what? You gotta move forward. The battle is not over. Having one rule is better than having any Joshes on your team. All Josh does is bitch and whine and complicate things. I'm a million different places in my head. That's the problem. I was just thinking, like, something dynamically, like, this hand, like, really, like, in the foreground and then having the face right there. I think you're gonna end up with a rendered thing and a flat thing, and I think it's, they're not gonna mix together is my fear with that. It's a piece of art, dude. 
I still don't hate the idea of beautifully painted a face with stain. We just did it. I know, know, and that's the only thing. So we'll do like some cool, creepy character, dude. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I had that vision. It's a mix of all of our styles, our three styles in one. Like this, skull right here, face right here, wings like that. Cool idea, but too many variables for this competition. There's just a lot of background painting we have to do. Anatomy problems, perspective issues. It could be very, very risky. It doesn't have to be super detailed. We're going to lose the eyes with the lasers coming out anyways. Today, I have artist block, no ideas. No inspiration, nothing. This can be dark, mm -hmm. and as we get close here, we get a little bit lighter. I like it. Let's shoot for it. All right. Yeah. Are you in? Yeah. Do you have a better idea? No. All right. I'm thinking the bigger we do it, the hair will be black, and then we can do the cutout crosses. I think it's cool. This has got to be the smoothest we've been on a challenge. That's what we need. We definitely need this win. All right, so what's the plan with the eyes? We'll just treat it like a normal tattoo. I'm the last chance for Steve to have an advantage in the finale. But even more, I've spent so much time away from my daughter and my wife. And I didn't do all this for nothing. I'll do whatever it takes to win this thing. You have four hours remaining. I just don't like the angle of the face. You want to change it? She can't. Everything else has to change. Anthony's usually super helpful, super supportive, but right now, he's having a rough day, but still, the competition must go on, and we need to finish this. And I'll tell you right now, this thing is gonna be badass, bro. Yeah, it does look really good from afar. It's too static, bro, look at it. It's no flow, it's just there. I didn't think of that till now. It's just a picture of Jesus, we gotta do something cool with it. If there was something like off that top side. Final hour, one hour remaining. This all should have been completely whiteboard, but you're getting too ahead of yourself. Because we're creating contrast. We can't shadow everything out. We are so close to the end that we can't slip up at all. We don't have that shadow. You have a weird, thin piece of hair that somehow turns into a big clump and comes to a point. Well, then you guys tackle that, if you guys know what you're looking at. I, I don't think we do. We're trying to get on the well, same then page. Then don't act like I did something wrong. I'm, I'm not saying you did. I just know we have an eight-foot board, and we focused on one-foot square. Josh is not used to being in the back seat, and it's kind of showing. Him and DJ keep bickering. Right now is not the time to do it when there's only five people left in the competition. Josh needs to chill the out. That's all I know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's a thing like he's not in charge and he's like out of control. I'm cool. It looks dope already. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can't mess it up too bad. Trying to give myself something to do. That was all. Did you bring a book? I don't know why, I just got like bad anxiety today. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Yeah. I like it. I think this might be our best piece yet. Are there five knuckles on this girl, or did you get it right? It's right. <laughs> all right, guys, it is now time to critique your work. Team Steve, let's start with you. Steve, this isn't your typical imagery. No. Back home, me and my family, we go to church a lot. It just brought back that warmth that I have with my family. Well, guys, I think you did a really good job working with contrast. You got some areas that are really saturated black in the mustache and the beard, the little hairs, and use contrast from the negative board to let those blacks really stand out. I really like the small details that you guys get in here. The background, the crosses, and the Mountainer's Cavern. You guys really hit the contrast here well. Thank you. Steve just picks designs you can't hate on. He did an American flag. This week he does Jesus. What's next, a pile of puppies? Next up, Team Anthony. It's a beautiful image. The hair, it has a great flow to it. I love how dark it gets at the bottom. And then contrast of the hair lightening as it goes up to the top. Where I'm having a hard time is anatomy overall. The hand to face ratio, it's awkward for me. The left shoulder in relationship to the right are on two different planes. And her throat's wider than her head. So it has a strange look to it in that way. All right, guys, thank you. It's a risk that we took. Team DJ. 
Well, guys, I think artistically you really show great balance, harmony between the light and the dark. No better way to suggest contrast than the silhouette against the wood surface. In the face, the eye, the wrinkles around the eye, the creases of the nose, the cheek coming into the mustache, and the shadow on the lip. You have a lot of contrast between similar tones, which really help build the details in this image. This medium suited y'all really well. Great job, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. I was sure with Josh fighting with DJ that way, they were not gonna pull this off, but they actually did. I can't find anything wrong with this piece. Welcome. You are the top five shops. You've defeated 13 other shops to make it to this point but only one shop will earn $200,000 feature in Inked Magazine and the title of Ink Master. And for the first time ever, the title of Master Shop. Hell yeah. This week, we're testing cohesion. Cohesion is two things working well together. It boils down to design, it boils down to composition. To be a tattoo artist, you need to utilize cohesion every day. For this flash challenge, you must create a cohesive design that blends together a two-dimensional canvas and a three-dimensional canvas. What does that even mean? Two-dimensional, three-dimensional? I'm so lost right now. Let's meet your three-dimensional canvases. <gasps> Just look him in the eye, bro. Just look him in the eye. Is that a dong? I see a dong. They're completely naked. There are naked people right over there. And that's the three-dimensional canvas. So we have to paint the naked people against the other thing. Like, so there's things, and they're all naked. Like, they're all naked. Your models have been randomly assigned. Using various types of paint, you'll need to blend your model into your two-dimensional canvas with a cohesive design that comes together seamlessly. Win, and your shop will have the power to assign all the human canvases for the elimination tattoo. Not only do we have to paint this naked model, but we also have to integrate the 2D canvas with the 3D canvas. This is gonna be really difficult. You have to paint the background and the foreground, and you have to create one image that looks seamless throughout. It's gonna look like a painting when it's all done. Two of you are going home, three of you are staying. You have six hours, and your time begins now. Come on over. Ready for this? Today I'm just looking for great art. I'm looking for these guys to paint something interesting to look at and to make their actual human canvas disappear into their backdrop. I would rather spend a little bit more time really nailing the idea. Yeah. What if he's like ducking down behind a wall and there's an explosion behind a Yeah. Okay, let's do Army Good. I was just thinking like Borderlands and robots where it's like the assembling of a girl. All right. Graffiti in the background like bricks. Start painting some brick, dude. Let's get this ball rolling. Two-dimensional with a 3D. Our biggest stress right now is trying to figure out what we're gonna do with a naked person just standing there, watching us, waiting for us to come up with an idea. What if we turned it into a gargoyle? Never mind, that idea sucks. More like construction? Like, what would you be doing? No, I don't know. If we don't start now, we're gonna run out of time. But what if we just erased him? Five hours left. Carnival idea is excellent. So good. We're gonna do carnival type theme as if you're looking into a circus tent and seeing this amazing bird lady. We'll lean towards purple because of her hair. I love the idea of you drawing more hair. Yeah, totally. I feel like the judges are expecting the teams to hide the human figure within their 2D canvas, but we don't wanna hide the human figure. We want to embellish it. That looks great. You're cool. killing it. Three hours remaining. Yeah, so we're getting there, slowly but surely, man. With only five teams left, the pressure is just mounting day by day. Right now is not the time to take big chances. It doesn't make our canvas disappear like everybody else's. We went a very different route, but I think it's a powerful image and it says a lot. Do I need to do that other arm? I don't want to do his whole body, right? I, I mean, I, I would. Okay, I'll do it, whatever, that's fine. I completely disagree with Christian on this one. We'll make this happen. For me, it's important to actually stand out and that's what's gonna separate us from the losers to the Winter circle. He's looking all right? Yeah. I think we'll be all right, you know? One way or the other, we'll at least have something done, that's for sure. Jim? What? Does this work with what you're thinking? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Aaron and I proved in the past that we know how to paint, and so we're just gonna keep moving forward with confidence. How long do you think it'll take you to tighten all that up? 
Uh, maybe another 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, because we gotta all ass. We are the last original team. We fought all this way here. We have to bring it home. Oh yeah, that works yep. out. That works out pretty cool. Final hour, guys, final hour. Man, this is gonna be tough. Me and Bubba always like to go above and beyond, but today we might have made a stupid choice. You gotta do it from back there, so tell me where. Down, right side up a little bit, and then scoot it all the way down. It's really hard to get our bricks lined up correctly on the canvas. We have to keep stepping back and making sure they're all lined up. Well, we're looking from above, right? Yeah, right where yeah, you yeah. go up then, way up. Right side up, right there. We've been through so much more than any of these other teams to get here. We really need this skull pick. Just needs to be a little bit thicker on the bottom. Four, three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. No more painting. You love pushing that down to the very last second. It drives me totally crazy. I think we got it, yeah? We're, we're good? Yeah, yeah, we're done. Okay. Crush that Look how dope it looks. It looks real, and it's not even cheesy. Woo! Awesome. Dude, look at that. Our painting is so amazing. Our dude disappears, and the painting is just beautiful. <laughs> that is so crazy. Where'd our dude go? He totally disappeared. <laughs> we got this in the bag. Our canvas left. I can't believe our canvas left. Where'd he go? All right, it is time to critique your work. We'll start with unkindness art. It really tells the story right off the bat, exactly what's going on here. Having her missing some body parts helps your 3D canvas blend into the background. For me, I'm missing a little bit of that in the girl. They look very distant from each other. You're two-dimensional to your three-dimensional objects. If you would have brought those hoses and connected them into her shoulder, then I believe you. Basilica tattoo. You do a nice job individually painting your 3D portion of the challenge, and you guys have some shining moments for sure in the 2D portion, in the sky and those no sandbags. It definitely tells the tale of war. Having something on the wall that he interacted with would have been the connection to make him a part of the background and vice versa, as opposed to this guy that looks good and then the background looks good, and then they're just separate thoughts. Of course, I told you we were just playing it too safe. We need to step it up. Golden skull tattoo. In combining 3D and the 2D elements, I think you guys kill it. The just stark black road coming directly through the middle looks so believable. And then the job that you did creating that same look directly onto your 3D portion of the canvas, specifically around the shoreline on his neck and the way the waves break up on his cheek and the top of his head. Great job here. Thanks. Thanks. Old Town Inc. This really does look cohesive. I like the fact that you incorporated the pipe. All the brick lines line up directly with her body. The floor that crosses over her ankles and then the gray of the actual floor she's standing on really does show cohesion between the 3D figure and the 2D figure. The details really look nice. The cracked window glass, the little lever where the window closes, the lights up top with the light shining. I think you've created this realistic environment. Camouflaging your canvas in there really works out well. Black Cobra a bold move to play with these different planes. It really requires standing in a very specific place, but when you are standing in the exact right place, it is really cohesive and the whole thing comes together. Not having her completely flat plastered on the board and having her arm connecting to the wing in the background does show cohesion in the way that you guys painted the piece. I think it's very creative. I love the little subtle things like the foot behind the curtain, the wing that's coming across her body and then onto the board. I think it came out really nice. Thank you. I feel like we hit the nail on the head. Matt and I did the best job at incorporating our human figure with the 2D canvas. We didn't just hide her and take the easy way out. Yeah. All right, guys, testing cohesion, five shops remaining. Everybody came to play, but there can only be one, and we're at the chopping block. Basilica did a nice job creating a cohesive scene, but to take a naked model and paint clothes on it, not the most creative approach. Definitely my least favorite of the day. They just don't have the wow factor. Black Cobra did more than what Basilica did. The foreground and the background interacted. I think it was a real creative take. Old Town Inc. went with more of a blended scenery and hid their model within the scene. I think where Old Town really shines is the details. The little things, the pipe, the shadows, the dripping ooze, the little pigeon. They used all those elements to tie their canvas into it. Their model disappeared on a single plane, whereas Golden Skull Tattoo made their model disappear a variety of depths. For the quality of painting and their thought process, I think they were cohesive all the way around. Well, three of these shops are for sure going to the live finale. Yeah. Two of these shops are out, so this advantage is vital. Time to let them know. Let's do it. All right, man. 
All right, guys, today you are being tested on cohesion. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Welcome. Chris and Oliver are narrowing each of their teams to the five strongest artists. One more artist from each team will be eliminated before all of you battle each other. Last week, Team Peck competed, so Team Nunez, you're up for elimination. This is your last chance to make it into Chris's top five. One of you will not be a part of that. This week, we're testing artistry. Artistry is the creativity that you're able to present in a tattoo. Without artistry, you're unable to make something awesome. Right now, more than 16 million Americans suffer from diseases caused by cigarettes. In the last 50 years, more than 20 million Americans have died from smoking. Your canvases today have quit smoking, but they're still paying the price. They all have permanent scars as a result. Today, you must help your canvases by making their scars disappear. Covering scars is really, really hard. Some scars do not hold any pigment at all, and sometimes it gets raised and puffed up and even more obvious than it was in the first place. Today's an important day. These people already have a lot that they're dealing with, and these scars remind them of their health battles in the past, and now it's your chance to turn your drawing skills on and camouflage their scars. If there's any of y'all that still smoke, today's the day to really reevaluate the rest of your life. Bring out your canvases. All right, Team Peck, not only are you safe from elimination this week, but you're also calling the shots. You get to assign the canvases for this flash challenge as a team. Pick one person to talk to the canvases on behalf of the team, then Discuss your plan. Yeah, going up, Mike. How you guys doing? What are we doing for you? A themed castle tied into the dragon. OK. There is a huge scar going right up the center of this guy's chest. I do not want that. Need a color realism galaxy being pulled into a black hole, which will be my style. I hope I do not get the guy with the trach in his neck, because that is super scary, and I do not want to be responsible for that area up. Tree of life, heavenly, black and gray with green leaves. What is that? Tree of life. <laughs> a biomechanical theme on the end of my nub. OK. From probably the kneecap up. OK. This guy doesn't have just one little scar. The entire surface is one big scar. give these people the best tattoos that they can get, because it's a flash challenge, not an elimination challenge. OK. Here you go. Here you go. We're totally looking past Team Nunez's negative attitude and the amount of times they've screwed us over. This is not the day to do that. All right, guys, one by one, please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Sketchy lawyer. Kevin. Eric, this is going to be tough. What I mean, dream life. Okay, this guy. Tough Tito. Nikki. Seriously? A castle with a dragon? That's weird. Kelly is the one that knows how to do really whimsical, pretty things. What the hell is going on? Kelly. The winner of this Flash Challenge will have the power to assign all human canvases in the elimination tattoo. You will have six hours to help your canvas by transforming their scar. And your time begins now. How are you, my man? Oh. Hey, come on over. How long do you smoke for? Since I was 14, stage four terminal throat cancer. Working on a scar, you can't just draw whatever you normally draw and stick it anywhere. You have to take into consideration what's already there before you design it. How long did you smoke for? I started out at 13. Wow. And I, lung cancer was at 39. How much did you smoke? You smoke a About lot. About two packs a day. Oh, that's crazy. I had to have my lung removed because of it. Definitely makes me want to just quit this Heavily scarred skin is unpredictable. 
So a combination of artistry and experience is gonna win. We just told him that you're one of the top artists here. You'll do a killer job. Yeah. Okay, we'll leave you to it. Nikki won't even talk to us. Like, she's so angry, she's literally fuming. Nikki's great with the dark, gothy, cathedral kind of I thought she'd be happy. All right, let's do it. You were thinking like, what, like a tree of life, you said? Mm -hmm. Last week, with my tree of life, I think I throw the ball. I would have never expected you to do this solid plaque in a tombstone shape. Like, if this happened at home in my shop, I would my pants. How am I going to redeem myself with another tree of life over a scar? I'm going to be honest. But I want to give you something more stronger, more powerful, like a dragon. Here's an idea. Let's do it. We're going to do a Japanese dragon. I need to play it safe. Five more hours. Five more hours. I've always wanted something like that on my body. Like This is easily one of the most important tattoos I've done in my entire career. It's really just kids get freaked out about it, you know what I mean? But if it's a picture, they won't get freaked out about it. This guy is 21 years old, and he has a hole in his throat that children are afraid of. Here we go. This is my chance to make it just a little bit better. Wow. Everybody's going to be looking at your neck now. We're looking at my neck already. Yeah, in a good way, though, now. Stay very, very still for me. I want these lines to be super straight, OK? Ooh, stay very still. Just tell me to stop, and I'll stop. Just two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Scars have major tissue damage, so it's not an easy thing to endure. Just the pain. My canvas taps, I'm gonna be so bummed out, not just for her, but for myself. I wanna win this challenge. <sighs> Stay still for me, just do this stuff, okay? The girls are getting tighter every day. We can't let them get too far ahead of themselves. How are you holding that? That's a little more sensitive than I figured it would be. Unfortunately, my canvas has been through so many surgeries, his nerves are all <laughs> up. One moment, he's fine, the next moment, <laughs> He's in excruciating pain. I might not be able to finish this tattoo, but we'll get through it, man. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink. Oh, my god. That's gorgeous. That is beautiful. There you are. That's sweet. <laughs> Kelly's throat scar cover-up looks like a space jellyfish. No way she's going to win the skull pick today. Awesome. I love it. Thank you. All right, time to critique your work, and we will start with Kelly. How was it sitting with Kelly? Oh, she did a great job. I'm very happy with it. I understand not wanting to do a big black hole leading into a dark hole. That was definitely a smart, sensible play. But when I first look at it, you don't get this immediate sense of space and galaxy. The way you worked with the skin in that area, you have some amazing color blends, saturated color, and really bright color play. But you don't really get a space feel from a distance when you look at it. Eric. You used his muscle shapes to contour the mechanisms he put in there. Definitely shows artistry. You did some really clean, strong outlining. Even though it's thin, it works really well with the contrast. I think you did a great job. Thank you. Sketchy lawyer. This tattoo came out super slick. Runs right at the middle of the scar. The feather texture really hides the scar tissue. From a distance, the lettering's a little busy. It's a little bit hard to read, but once you get up on it, it's super tight, technically done. Kevin. This tattoo overall looks really smooth. The nice texture in the fur, even over top of the heavy scarred areas, you got the same amount of nice shading over the top of the scar versus where the scar wasn't. It's a quality tattoo. Thank you. Tito. It definitely hid the scar, but as far as the overall shape of the tattoo, the way it fit on the back, it was a very odd placement. It's really not. He has a pretty considerable divot in his back, so to place it where it is, fit the flow of the back, and definitely fit the direction of the scar, in my opinion, it looks pretty good, man. Nikki. He had this crazy, weird dragon. You made what he had a lot better, and you got rid of the scar. The way that you use the scar tissue to play into that rocky texture, to camouflage it all and tie it in, really good. All of the boys in this house are definitely gunning for the girls. If I don't win this skull pick, I'm completely screwed. Hey, YouTube, it's Chris Nunez. Don't forget to subscribe to Spike's channel.
Welcome. The smaller your team gets, the harder you must work to outshine your teammates. Because in the end, only one artist will win $100,000, a feature in Inked Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Also on the line, a guest spot at Chris's shop, handcrafted in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, or Oliver's shop, Elm Street Tattoo in Dallas, Texas. Each week, only one team competes as Chris and Oliver narrow their teams to the strongest five artists. Last week, Team Nunez competed. So this week, Team Peck, you are up for elimination. And today, we're testing contrast. Contrast is basically the juxtaposition between light and dark to create a beautiful, legible image. For today's Flash Challenge, you have just one material at your disposal. Brown packing tape. What? Your canvas today is an eight foot by four foot sheet of plexiglass. By applying layer upon layer of tape, you must create a high contrast image. How am I gonna show contrast with tape? It's pretty one dimensional. Guys, this is gonna be a painstaking, slow process. I don't wanna see any meltdowns. Do something creative, because all you have is light and dark. Team Nunez, not only are you safe from elimination this week, but you're also calling the shots. You get to assign the overall style for Team Peck's designs. Okay, Team Nunez, take a moment and discuss. You guys have any ideas? What about having them hung like that? More than was that, is that too easy, you know what I mean? Like... All right, Team Nunez, please tell Team Peck what the style is for this Flash Challenge. A face. I have no idea how I'm supposed to make a face out of tape. That's the hardest thing that they could pick for us, and that's how they like to play. The winner of the Flash Challenge will have the power to assign all human canvases in the elimination tattoo. You will have five hours to create an image using only packing tape. Your time begins now. The packing tape is the perfect test of contrast. You have a whiteboard, and then you put a piece of tape on there, and it changes the tone slightly. And then you put two, three, four, five layers of tape, and you have all these range of contrast that you can really start to form a structure out of. If my team can get a quick understanding of how this works, I think they'll put together some really cool ideas. I love doing this thing. I got a strategy planned out for it. You're going to draw it big. You're going to tape it from the back. Smart, Gian. I'm cutting it in some thin strips, and I'm gonna use that to do my clean outline. Damn it, Gian. I'm going traditional with this thing, neo-traditional. A lot of contrast in traditional. Aw, oh, Gian, even when you're using tape, your line work is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Two hours remaining. Two more hours. The closer we get to these last 10 spots, the more drama. And Team Peck is completely divided right now. I think you're the only one that decided to go with a dude. I need this skull pick so I can tear apart this girl's alliance. I have to get rid of Ryan and Jill. Oh, looky, looky. It's happening, slowly. Of all of the skills that I have, creativity and the use of contrast are two of my strongest. I'm trying to get done as fast as I can so I can have more time for, like, detail. You know? I'm going to give them the most beautiful face that the judges have ever seen. You have 45 minutes left. Whoa! Like, went nuts. You have to see it from the back. I just said it. I'm gonna do the whole thing. <gasps> I love this. Dude, I totally up. And why, don't, I was... why don't you exacto out that on the top? It's a smart move for me to be more friendly with Ryan and Gia because they are really strong artists in this house. I need to solidify my place in the top and get out of the middle. Oh. It's pretty cool. Ryan's look pretty sick. Really? It looks cleaner in there. They don't want too small. My plan was to treat this like stencil art and cut out pieces of tape to make the image that I want. But this tape keeps ripping when I try and take it off the table. If I can't get it onto the plexiglass, I'm not gonna be able to finish this design. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up. Like, what the actual is this? <laughs> yeah. Gian is tricky. The canvas is transparent. So Gian sketched his entire design out on paper, 
and taped it to the back of the canvas. He just outsmarted us all. Are you kidding me? That is Will. cool, man. Okay, artists, it is time to critique your work. Gia, start with you. You have a lot of rich, dark, concentrated areas that really let the light stand out strong. A lot of good use of contrast, but her looking three quarters and her face at an angle, I feel like the cross now looks off-centered from where her face would be. Mike. Mike, I like what you did with the cross hatching layers. How it goes from dark to light really shows a nice contrast. I like the graphic shape of the eyes and the nose and the mouth. I love the hair that really looks like it's going over and under each other. You definitely hit contrast. Thank you. Bone face. It has a stencil street art feel. You have your dark values, you have your tones. But the real thing that I like about it is actually the straight vertical lines in the face. This is definitely something you would see painted somewhere. Boneface's tape art looks like him. Come on, man. I know you're lazy, but really, this? Ryan. What I really like is the four tones. You have your dark, your medium, your light, and then your natural tone. And the only place that you really let the white peek through were for your forced highlights. And I really love that look. But also, you have some great definitive shapes in here that map out the contour of this face. Pupils in the center, super dark. Nice highlights, even the little inference of eyelashes underneath the eye. Great use of contrast. Matt. The thing that you lost in this attempt is the finesse. It looks like the hair is on fire, not just the church. Capturing the shapes of the face, you didn't really get the interesting contours that a couple other people got. I know you're from Salem. Like, everything you do is the same thing. You got to break out of the box, but Nate. I took a way different approach. I ran out of time. Yeah, Nate, I think the approach you took with this is counterproductive. You turned up the contrast so far that it's just stark. All the sharp cuts you have everywhere, even the rose, it has such a one-shot feel to it. It's so perfectly outlined and perfectly solid. That definitely ate the clock. I tried. Gian. I really love what you did here. I love the way that you textured the shading from your darkest in the hair to your middle tone in the headdress. It's just spot on. What you really notice is the intricate design. Attention to detail is awesome in this piece. Gian, you magical mother He made this thing so clean and so precise, I have no idea how he did it. All right, today we're testing contrast. Team Pet, you guys are up. Overall, I think my team really took a swing at this challenge. For me, Gian and Ryan are the battle for the top seat. I would have to agree with that. Ryan was able to achieve a lot of coverage, a lot of different values, with some soft shapes that lent itself to being very feminine. Her whole piece showed a lot of layering. She had four basic shades to her entire piece. Those were the tones throughout the face. They stayed consistent. She did some really nice little cutaway highlights. It sat well. The impressive thing about what Gian did today is that he produced a legitimate finished piece of art. Definitely hit the contrast. It is solid. It is done. It is very well executed. In this competition, how many profiles have we seen tattooed badly? Yeah. And he was able to achieve that with just the tape. All right, you guys ready to let him know? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Today, you're being judged on contrast. This was a good day. Even the people that didn't get as good a critique still put a lot of effort in. I feel like it's a really strong team effort. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge. Hey, YouTube. It's Chris Nunez. Don't forget to subscribe to Spike's channel. Welcome. There are still eight of you, but this competition is constantly changing. Two artists have been eliminated, and two veteran artists have returned, and it's far from over because only one of you will earn $100,000, a feature in Ink Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. This week, you are being tested on creativity. Creativity brings a tattoo to life. It's going to set apart the people who can actually draw and put together their tattoo from the tracers. If you're not creative, your tattoo is always going to look boring. For today's Flash Challenge, you must use creativity to make an extraordinary work of art using a common everyday item. Salt. Salt. I don't know what he's talking about. Salt? What are you, nuts? What, are we hanging out at a diner? Gonna play with some salt on the table? The more limited your resources are, the more creativity it takes to make something incredible. 
first, you must stencil your design onto a four foot by eight foot adhesive board. Then carefully apply various grains of salt to create your masterpiece. Today, you will have help, but you'll also have to compromise because once again, you must work in teams of two. Great, another team. Last time I had to share the skull pick, I ended up at the bottom. Clean. You won the last elimination tattoo. That means you get to assign the teams. And as you know, who you work with can make all the difference. So choose carefully. These guys were gunning for me as soon as I walked in the house. I got a big target on my back. There's no way I'm gonna give somebody an advantage by putting two guys that know what they're doing on a team, except for myself. I gotta win every challenge from here on out. Artists, one by one, please read the number on the bottom of your skull to determine your teams. One. Four. Four. I picked Picasso because I've seen his artistic ability, and this Edward Scissorhands looking mother is like super creative. Two. Two. St. Mark, he's a prick. Clean, you son of a bitch. Three. Three. I'm stoked to be working with Megan. She's part of my alliance. She's super creative. Clean made a big mistake. Number one. One artist, one good one, she can bring him down. Those are the teams. The winners of the Flash Challenge will have the power to assign all human canvases in the elimination tattoo as a team. You have four hours to show creativity using only salt. And your time begins now. Let's do this. I'm gonna run through ideas with you. We gotta figure out subject matter. Today's challenge is out of the box. It's something that I can almost promise that none of these artists have ever done before, and that's the whole point that we're testing them on it. If we did like a badass skull, the eyes would be super white. Just to see what they'll come up with in a completely unfamiliar environment. Our shadows themselves are really cool, and if we do the silhouette of like a sexy woman, Megan, I mean, you can make like really Megan, cool. that's like... awesome. If somebody's not a good artist overall, this is gonna be a tough day. Megan Jean is making a silhouette of herself. So you tell me what you think. I pictured um, the skyline. Everybody else is going to do the skyline. It's what's right in front of us. That's not creative. How do you think that would work with creativity? I won the last flash challenge. I need to get Anthony to agree with me. Something bigger to work with will be better. The first thing that came to my head was a dope like skull with a huge headdress. OK, I just need to come up with a drawing. If you've got some ideas, I really like your design stuff. I mean, I, yeah. I, tr I trust you. The veterans need to take back the skull pick. The new artists have had it way too easy for way too long. It ends today. I was thinking in my head, I would do like this gnarled out like spray can with a face and a long nose with wings on it flying over New York City. Maybe put a planet up in the top side. That's ridiculous. We were doing a koi fish. I hope they don't eat us up for creativity. I think we're showing creativity on how to use our medium. There's definitely some friction between me and Alex. Just do it. I don't care. He needs to be on my team. Two hours to go, everybody. Two hours. I am so salty right now. I want to die. Dad, that looks rad. That does look good. That's dope. All you really need is some lines. That's it. Scrape out some lines. We need a couple of finger waves just like those. I think you're underestimating the time it's going to take to salt this thing. It won't matter. You yeah. sure? Yeah. St. Mark is starting to piss me off. Hey, man, it's a team challenge, right? I got this for a minute. Go sit down. It's the Mark show all day. Is it? Not a surprise. Man. I hate koi fish. It's a played out design, dude. One hour remaining. Final hour. We're doing a skull with a candle on the top, with a moth being attracted to it. I think it's pretty creative. Don't get too crazy. You don't want it white on that wing. The only problem is, once you put the salt on, you can't get it off. Let's give it a good cleaning. This guy's just throwing salt like it's a set of french fries. Remember, you want contrast. You want nothing lighter than the flame behind it. There's salt everywhere. This is the worst challenge of my Ink Master career. Five. Four. Need more time. Three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. I think it looks great. I'm really proud of it. I think it was a great piece of art. I still wish we did something a little different. 
Alex is checked out. I think he could be tossing this challenge in the trash just to put Mark in a really bad position. Anthony and Ashley. The headdress doesn't really come off as